Hollabox German restaurant in downtown Sanford. It's so good. It is an experience <laughs> when you go there. It's so tasty. <laughs> you get live German music. This is a hard ad to do because normally when we do this, it's morning time and we haven't eaten very much. And then we have to sit here and tell you about <laughs> all the delicious yeah. hand. Cr- this is a scratch kitchen yeah. with handmade food. The best German beers you're ever going to find. Yeah, the yeah. best German music you're ever going to find. Yeah. The sides. The staff has been there. Some of the yeah. members of the staff have been there 20 years. Their beer garden uh, where you can, uh, up there, you can get like a tapa style German cuisine. All uh, the desserts. Yeah, the yeah. cakes and the pies and the little pastries. Yeah, yeah. Their, uh, their market, um, Magnolia Square Market. Yep. They have all to the go German meals, groceries. German groceries. They got all the uh, hair bows. They got spaghetti ice. Yeah, yeah. The outfitters, uh, if you want any later hosen. Clothing, uh, yeah. cool gifts for your family, like stuff yeah. that you know, related to Christmas and that. Hollabox just opened up in the Orlando City Stadium. So oh, if yeah. You, if you're get a pretzel. Uh, catching a match, yeah. uh, go by Hollabox and uh, get, get a sausage or a pretzel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say hi to Chef Pat and uh, yeah. you know, ask for a pin maybe. Yeah, uh, uh, Hollabox is expanding and we're super happy for it. And yeah, Daniel's right. Uh, when you go to Hollabox, German restaurant, Shot in Sanford. Ask for a Tom and Dan pen. They have a bunch of them. Maybe you could talk to Chef Pat. It's a, per- a, a participatory restaurant. Am I saying yeah. that right? It's like when when you go there, they want you to dance around. They want you to have yeah. a good time. They want you to sing yeah. along. They want you to read the their menu is like a little German newspaper. It's, just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it's an experience. It's, you just gotta go. Just go. I dare you to go and email me and say you didn't have a good time. You <laughs> yeah, will never no, do you, that. Yep, you'll have a hundred percent great time. No one will ever do that. It's Hollabox German Restaurant in downtown Sanford. Hello, this is your mediocre time with Tom and Dan program. We hope that you will find our presentation precise, joke heavy, and just right. Thanks. Welcome to the Friday Free Show of a Mediocre Time. It is another Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Dan. I'm Tom. Sam is here from the grave. Yes. <laughs> from the grave. The, the very one that Tom is fucking. Uh, Did he tell you about that? That he talked no, about? No. So, have you seen uh, Saltburn? I'm assuming you watched it. Watch it. I was yeah. going to say, I'm assuming you're the one that made him watch it. We watched it, it together. Yeah. He yeah. said yeah. he wanted to do that to my grave. No, I just, I was I, making, I got into Saltburn <laughs> jokes for a while yeah. for a minute. Yeah, and yeah. I had to get them all through it's my system. Like you go, we did Shape of Water. Yeah. We did <laughs> Whale. We do, we do. Shawshank for a long time. I don't watch any of the movies. I just find out what the thing is and I'm like oh the guy fucks the grave all right now I'm in the Game of Thrones reference oh that's way old though that's way old (laughs) yeah but we're we're re-watching it the new one you gotta do now is kid brain in adult body is this gonna fuck with people's heads that technically this is my last Friday free show? Oh yeah, we'll Even hear though about it's it. Pre recorded. Oh, they'll complain. The Tuesday for sure. prior. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll get Let an them email. send the emails. <laughs> hey, Tom, email. I don't know yeah. if you knew this. We didn't give people enough notice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, there's yeah. a guy on Reddit. Did you see the guy? He's like, you God told damn. me. Yeah, the guy on Reddit was like, like he wanted to know the day. I'm not making that fun I of told him either. Them. He wanted to know the day that she told us, and what? I was like, well, that's fucking. Why does he deserve that? Okay, yeah. that's a harsh answer, but it's the accurate one. I mean, you're right. I'm sorry, I just no, no, you're I'm right. not trying to be mean. I no, really no, am not. curious. You're right. You wanted, like you if you to have save or the last of Sam. If you have a, you know, decision and that's yeah. your decision and that's business. your choice, yes. you know, not somebody else. Sam's business. This sorry. decision was actually started the day Cisco did that last thing. <laughs> 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 I wasn't even hired. We, we set it in motion yeah, yeah. before you were hired. Yeah, yeah, but you The firing was in motion. Andrea send me that video uh, so I could put it on my fan. She destroyed it. Did she? Yeah, she destroyed it. You could recreate it. <laughs> <laughs> you could. Um, if you want to Travis will dress up like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to be rich. Um, I don't get that reference at all. No, um, it was, we got a nail. normal for me. <laughs> we <laughs> hired, I don't know what's going on We hired here. a man that is a, was a stripper. For my bachelorette this is like party. A, more than a this decade This was in 2015. Ago. And yeah. he gave her oh. a very... Uh, 
a bat. He motorboated he me. He motorboated her. He licked oh. my friend's face. Yeah, it was. Oh. It, it, they and, were then he, and then he went on to be a grinding famous. Grinding their ding dongs on my knee. He went to be a famous nutritionist and 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 a lot of Publix commercials. And he was in that earwax thing. He was in the, the earwax, earwax commercial. commercial. Every time I saw the commercial, I was like, "Hey, it's Motorboat that guy's Jones." Face was in my titties. <laughs> so, oh, I will say, uh, Crystal is one half of the Bart Merrick team. Woo-woo. And if you need to buy or sell your property, use uh, the Bart Merrick team uh-huh. because you get two realtors working for you uh, at the same two. time. For the price of one, and they have uh, an insane amount of experience, especially in every different market, and in like you know that's been recently pre COVID. I've COVID used after, them. Sam's used them. I mean, yeah. we're yeah, we're uh, damn happy now, with the Bart Merrick team. Hundreds of BDM. So it's BartTheRealtor dot com. Um, hey, thanks for being here, Crystal. Thanks for the plug. Good to see you. So uh, a couple things. Um, one the other day. Uh, well, let's start with today. Um, and oh, you're gonna drop a bomb. And I'm going to give myself uh, my own self gripe. Where uh, I'll oh, tell you something. This is new. This is new. This is new. I'm leaving, and yeah. things are changing. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's what had to happen. I, By oh, God, like, I mean, like, did you if only you did this before. I wouldn't <laughs> work. Yeah, I, exactly. Did you set this in motion? Like, what is happening? <laughs> There's two things that I get very frustrated by, and I don't understand why. <laughs> and uh, and it's one of them's me, isn't it? And it's gonna get one of them's computers. <laughs> well, okay, well, no, let's talk about this. Oh no, was that technology? Today? Was this yeah, yeah, today yeah, yeah, with yeah, the technology password? In general, is this today with the password? And when he walked in, <laughs> listen. When he walked in, he saw me do it perfectly the first time, and I thought he was gonna punch me in the back of the head. He was so mad. It's only gonna get worse as you age, and you're only forty two. No, no, yeah, dude. You're it, always... Everything he touches, it like if he used <laughs> it turns to stone. If he used <laughs> the washing machine, which is just knobs, it, yeah. it would somehow stop working. Like he could just walk by the freezer, and then it like doesn't work anymore. It's his curse. He has yeah. something going. You on. have the food curse. He has the technology. Like, I, I didn't want to in. say this, but well, it adds to what you're about to say. I do more maintenance on his machine in just rebooting it and getting it to work <laughs> than any computer in here. Like, it's insane. I know. It's got every file the he's emails. ever had God, since, the, like, the, 09. The e- he gets shut out of his email more than any person I've ever known in my entire life. It's and he's always like, I'm going to go in and delete 100 Do you know time. what it is? <laughs> I'm like, it's I don't because think that's- he refuses to put a system in place <laughs> other than just leaving all windows open. <laughs> He does have 98 tabs Every open. window's open. And, 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 and these are windows from like 2002. That's 2003. what the inside of his brain is like. All windows open. All, everything's <laughs> open all yeah. the time. All windows. And the, open. the bandwidth is constantly being used yeah. and it's yeah. refreshing. And it's yeah. always. There's and, no. It's, all, it's like pedal down f- to the floor, going as fast as you can, yeah. windows wide open. <laughs> yeah. And then the computer's down. Yeah. Don't you want uh, all the windows open? No, my hair's blown around. <laughs> yeah, the computer, some, the computer my just papers. dies early for. You know, but why can't can it handle it? But anyway, <laughs> it can. Work. It can. It's just you are too powerful. <laughs> no, I'm not too powerful. You're, no, you are. You are. No, wrong. he's too powerful. If you like, look, it can handle it. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven programs open on this machine. Okay. 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 You, <laughs> all right. I don't know. Hey, it's I Doc, believe you. It's me, Doctor Nick from The Simpsons. That's what I heard. You, He's been watching a lot of Simpsons. Y- there are times when I go in there, and I'm not saying this to... to I, I don't want to gang up on you, but I just want no, to give you no, a real no, answer. No, no. There might be 30... It. I'm not kidding, dude. 30 to 40 Chrome. 30 versions open. 30. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of just I, I'm Chrome? not kidding. I'm not kidding. Well, I, 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 I'm sorry <laughs> if I'm vetoing. 30 Chrome. <laughs> uh, 40 documents. Um, multiple. What's the one Outlook or uh, no? The one where it's just a preview, preview of just like yeah. uh, of of uh, different uh, um. So pictures they, these from things Danger open Brain. and he doesn't close them. No, he, he just moves, opens a no, new one. He sorry, I didn't mean to yell at you. He <laughs> moves them down. He'll dra- okay. He'll uh, take. I'm gonna do it for you. He'll take he's this. Like get this out of the way. And he just moves it <laughs> behind <laughs> everything. Oh wow! <laughs> he just moves it down. Or so then I doesn't minimize it. Okay. So I, he doesn't yeah. minimize. He doesn't okay. know how to minimize. So I go in there and then hidden like a you kid. Like it's no so different than Seth throwing he's shit panties over. Shoving things under the bed. He's or hiding, hiding them under the right digital yeah. bed. He put it under his digital bed. <laughs> Well, okay. You know what I'm talking well, about. No and one you taught me. <laughs> I'll teach. Nobody you. taught any of us either. 
How yeah, well, how'd you I mean, learn? We we just uh, learn things <laughs> oh, as we go. You know, that's a dangerous question. When that's it doesn't dangerous. work this time, we do it differently next time. Go back and to then your point. That's learned. What's your point? You were saying. Uh, I'm just. Uh, um, uh, this is a gripe. I'm just mad that this happens, <laughs> and I'm mad that. Do you I- want to walk the listeners through what you were trying to do? No. <laughs> <laughs> Was it that dramatic? <laughs> 10 or he 15. He was very upset with himself. He was mad. 15 years ago, I used to And sit, then he blamed the computer. I, uh, the, uh, you know, God rest his soul, Bubba Wabas Wilson yes. uh, also had this problem. I miss him. And um, I remember his computer was always broken, and then he just, just couldn't his figure it out. Too, his phone, too. His phone, too. And, and you do the phone thing, but I don't bring it up. Yeah. I, was, I was in my 20s. I yeah. was like, this guy, what the fuck? And he was my <laughs> <laughs> the same thing Bubba used to do. Drops yeah. his phone all the time. I'm, phone is broken. And then he'll bring it into me, and he'll be like, <laughs> and he yeah. does that thing where he's like, he's yeah. holding it, and that, just the act of him holding it is supposed Literally, to prove to you that he did it right. And he's like, oh, with oh, our bank, oh, I hear oh, him scream, they locked me out, like, every day. Yeah. Yeah, they're locked do. out of Truist right now. Yeah. Uh, he's never locked so, in. And Bubba no ass Wilson. So uh, Bubba used to tell me he's like, I went to these porno sites and all of a sudden a thousand <laughs> windows. Remember when you were getting them on your calendar, the porno uh, schedules? Do you remember like, that, Dan? He's like, I'd have to, I'd have to x out the windows faster than they come. Yeah, and it's impossible. It was like a wizard <laughs> battling. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, if I can it's like when you went solitary. And all <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I could finger tap the X's faster, oh, he's got fast then, I, then I could push the power back to zero and then it'd get back. But sometimes it overwhelm my computer. It's like all I could do is drag my computer into the recycling bin. <laughs> and then back away. And then all there was yeah. left is the recycling bin. And he's like, I couldn't drag the recycling bin into itself and then I'm stuck. And then I'd go and try to help A him out. What do you want to learn to do, though? When and then you- all I would do is go and put uh, a lemon party on his laptop. <laughs> So, lemon party. Yeah, you don't so, remember lemon party? So when he opened oh, it up, I remember yeah, lemon party. It was like three dudes blowing each other, oh, like old dudes, yeah, yeah. like three. I seen that. But then they were bouncing like, and they whip, whip. Oh no, that no, that oh, was, it was the whip, the helicopter. No, that's the one I used to put on Andrea's meat spin. Meat spin. Oh, meat spin. Meat spin. I remember oh, yeah. meat spin. Is that still yeah. on? Yeah, we did oh, meat it's spin. It's still spinning. Is and it? he gets so frustrated. But anyway, I I would tell my twenty year old self, I was like, don't let yourself get like this. Uh, where you can't use technology. And your 20 year old self was worse at, at learning than your 42 year old. Are you on Tits Talk? Look at the, the top. <laughs> are you on Tits Talk? It's, uh, yeah, oh, there was a Tits I'm sorry, I X'd it out because it was, it's, no, it doesn't <laughs> work anymore. Tits.com. There's a banner on it. It doesn't just go right to meat spin. You, ha- you have to be 18 to watch it spin. Oh, that's oh, lame. Yeah, boring. There it is. That's it lame. is a different meat spin. Yeah, it's not the this same. This is one. a very different meat spin than what I remember. Oh, oh you, uh, whoa, it's a dick in the ass and the spinning. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, the one I remember didn't have. The it was just the spin. No, oh, it's always been Dick in the Ass spinning. <laughs> you blocked it out. Yeah, yeah. This, yeah, is, yeah. Bur- this is your Bernstein Bears. <laughs> it's a Mandela this effect. Mandela <laughs> effect. <laughs> You're like, I don't remember the anal. I'm serious because I don't I'm, remember this the one's anal. burned into my brain because it's the thing I've put on Andrea's phone and computer the most of anything <laughs> in the world. So I'm, uh, the, I'm the magical prankster. Um, uh, this morning, I was trying to get on recreation.gov to get these fiery furnace <laughs> of hiking passes. Okay, and uh, <laughs> like a know, good dad. And uh, how, that we how have, hard was it for you to spell fiery? Uh, well, I sent him me. the link. I sent him. Oh, I didn't okay. even. Gotcha. I, I googled fire why. <laughs> I googled fire. <laughs> and then it popped up. I googled fire why at hiking, and then it popped up. And I was like, oh, that's fire why. Oh my <laughs> god. Fiery. Uh, anyway, so uh, Crystal's like, you got to sign up because I didn't get the passes yesterday, and today's our last day to try to get them. There are only seventy five left, and then people get them yeah. fast as spring break. And it's or like in. A second and a half, they're all gone. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Chris is like, get, think that this is, I mean, it's got to be pretty damn amazing. Like, well, I hope so. Get yeah, Daniel to sign up, uh, get Sam and everybody. You, you didn't know. tell me I had to sign up. You just said, hey, I need you to go to this website with a time yeah. card. I'm like, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. Well, th- because then I got the email and then they said, uh, n- like, put in your new password. So I put in uh, the password or whatever. Then it said, try again later. Okay, but first, I have to say something. Yeah. Mm. I gave you all these instructions yesterday while you were here at work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you called me at 9.51. 
<laughs> today. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> for the for business. Nine I wanna, minutes. Are I you wanna, serious? I want to shake your hand right now. This is yep. why. Like, I'm fucking <laughs> looking at you. I was early. Oh my I was God. early. This is the last thing I'm when I'm do. gone. I was on Casey Musgraves to get tickets for. Um, she doesn't even know yet. No, no, nine minutes keep early. This on the DL, yeah, everyone. Maisie doesn't know she's going to see Casey Musgraves. I was on there an hour ahead of time. Ready to go. So when the 10 minute mark went, I was first in queue, man. I'm Let me ask you a question. Right Did you have an account already? Oh, yeah. My Ticketmaster so, and I had my American Express loaded because that's the only way I could get the, 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 yeah. oh, yeah, the it's American Express. You got to just make sure you yeah. do it all quick. You got to yeah. be ready. Well, I told him all this. Man, we tried to get these tickets in October and it didn't, we, you know, multiple days in October, we couldn't get them. Now it's spring break. I couldn't get him Sunday. I couldn't get him Monday. It's like high anxiety. At, yeah. At, and I'm watching the, I've got the world clock up. I'm ready. I'm, yeah. ref, you know, I'm refreshing. I'm, uh, and then he calls me nine minutes ahead and he's like, I can't set a password. I can't get the account <laughs> you so that I can guest, log right? in. Could you log in as a guest or no? You, you have to already be logged in if you want to secure the tickets. Okay. So I was, uh, you know, so you just gave up. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> it's your fault. I was banging my gay desk, and I was like, "Well, whatever. Well, I don't even want to go anywhere." I was anyway. in the office while this was happening, and he was freaking out. And I was Nobody like, came "Hey, man, here. what's going on? Can I help you?" And he's like, "No, it's my computer. Chris thinks it's me, but it's my computer." And I'm like, "Okay, well, what are you trying to do?" So then, within two minutes, I made an account. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I know. Do. Well, I didn't want to ask you. I was like, "Well, no, Sam already quit." <laughs> 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 and then, so now no, I have an I account on regulation.gov. I, I can't so. tell Daniel another thing I can't do with the goddamn computer. Okay, that is going to be a problem for the company moving forward is that you do feel like you can't be you honest be with me yeah. about your computer you got to ask for help. You no, no, he doesn't help. do it now. He'll he'll fight through it. Like the other day when you were putting a post on the website, you're like, hey, uh, pictures are, uh, you upload them on. I knew what you were doing. You're struggling. <laughs> you're fucking struggling. I knew it. Yeah. You do what you just, he doesn't realize do that that actually makes me, uh, me at home. Anyway, I don't know about you. It makes me more mad. I'm like, just tell me what it is. Yeah, I'll do it. Just yeah. say it. I'm good with the computer Don't stuff. do this whole, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh that would be that's too far. That's I, I know, but it's that's just like, little, that's that his was his a little brain mean. working. <laughs> that was a little mean. I, they, uh, he'll uh, ask me for, uh, he'll, he'll know where Tommy's glasses are, and then he'll say, like, the same thing. Tommy's glasses were, uh, uh, uh. And I'm like, just I'm what thinking, do you need? Uh, I'm thinking. Just say it to me, please. He's thinking a lot. Don't torture me with this slow struggle. Anyway. Normally, we're not allowed to make fun of people like that. My girl. Oh, <laughs> it's on the spectrum of a hate crime. People said that it but Are you hate me? But yeah, it's just on the spectrum. It I is felt close. It. I felt it. It's closer than it is not. Anyway. I felt like it was a part of something sinister just now. But this is some sort of trait that other old people have out there that I'm not yeah, alone. But you have a, I, you have a, you have an early a whole, onset. You have early onset. <laughs> no, there's a whole bunch of people. No. Oh, you're basically Wendy you Williams. You had this when no. you were young. I yes, see you the did. BDM. No, the BDMs have it too. There's a, people, there's BDMs like, I'm 30 years old. I don't know how to do nothing. <laughs> I see them. I'm like, you're like me. You're like, I see them. And this is why our country is the way it is. <laughs> what is that? Why? Why? Because, because our my, educational system no, is broken. No, but ask this <laughs> question. Then why? Because Daniel's emotional. His brain emotional, yeah. but he oh, understands computers yeah. so well. How was I able to I'm get like a this? computer. I can't understand fucking computers. Oh, I never thought about that. Like <laughs> he, when he walked I should in, only be able to understand computers. What made You're not him? like a computer. You're just not as emotional as some people. What made him so well, mad is he turned the corner and then I was hint- hitting enter for my account and then it went right into the screen and it said 75 tickets and we had one minute and you're like, are you fucking doing it? And I don't normally doesn't yell. <laughs> He's getting more angry. He is getting more angry. Oh, there was a little little bit of a yell there, dude. You were no. mad. I thought you might pop me in the back of the head. No, I'm just you're trying just, to get your stupid hiking. It's just you get more. <laughs> you get more frustrated by technology. And like it's all old man screams in the sky. <laughs> yeah, but like old men, they get mad. They pull out their guns and kill their wives and stuff and shoot their grandsons. You could though, like Chris, recognize <laughs> your uh, frustration with the technology, and then yesterday started this process. You know what I mean? Like, like look in, look into yourself and say, "This is going to really frustrate me tomorrow." Nine minutes. That's a waste in of time. No, don't do that. Do uh, don't change it your earlier. I'm going to tell you something I didn't tell you before. <laughs> it has to do. Oh, with, I don't like this. Um, I don't like these. This is going to be a bad surprise or something. No, no, no. Because you look bad, and now she looks mad. Like he was going to say a grape about me now. <laughs> yeah, no, it no, no. Like you were queuing one up. This is only personal gripes. And you heard. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> this uh, this seems to be more popular. <laughs> uh, so uh, the Smile Mile I took my sons to what over the weekend. What was that, by the way? Um, that, looked like a, a running a fun run. It's for kids. It was right here in Baldwin Park or Blue Jacket Park or oh, whatever. Nice. Um, so uh, oh my god, they let you guys in here? They, <laughs> they oh, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, get them out! <laughs> get them out of here! Put them out over there by the liquor store, the Walmart, <laughs> yeah. the summer on. <laughs> So uh, the uh, the PE coach for our school told us about like uh, this you know charity Smile Mile for kids only, That's great. and then uh, I wanted to bring Max and Tommy because they've been into the cross country, yeah. and I'm really more into them doing like these things uh, because you're doing them too, you know. The, yeah, I you know, but mainly because I just want them to be try to get like better in some way. Anyway, move their bodies, jeez. So mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. they don't want to do it. Mm-hmm. It's just <laughs> I don't really want to do it. But I'm forcing myself because I'm yeah. like, because I'm, and in turn, you're forcing them as well. Yeah, because I'm like, this has to be good yeah. for us, uh, me included. I have to, you know, I don't want to wake up early on Saturday morning and, uh, you know, get my. I don't like smiling and plus, I don't like miles. So I, uh, I, the night before, I, uh, I look at the email confirmation and it says, pick up your bib and t shirt uh, two days prior <laughs> to like, Two days ago. <laughs> 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 I'm like, Oh my God! Read any of this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, now Crystal's out of town, or she's going out of town. So I'm doing this by myself. Oh my God! Uh, You're so- doing a single dad smile mile. <laughs> yeah. Too hard. Too advanced. <laughs> Yeah, but I, no, but I'm, no, no. I just cancel it with Maisie. I'm like, I'm sorry, we can't do it. Your dad's not capable. I, enough. I'm on this uh, thing where I'm. I I'm, cancel on Maisie all the time. <laughs> she, well, she doesn't. She doesn't need the smile. Wow, she's doing. <laughs> she her always thing. looks at me. She's like, it's okay. She's, I'm like, all right. she's, she's like, mile. That's nothing. <laughs> she's working more full time hours than all of us here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Is she hiring? By the way, <laughs> <laughs> she might be. She's doing a podcast now. <laughs> so I see uh, you're supposed to pick up your bib and T-shirt uh, like the, the day prior or that day. But I'm looking at night before, and it's uh, you know. So then it's I see that. It's Did you like, get anxiety? I know you say you no. don't get that, but you didn't be like, oh, like that would have. I would have immediately been trying to think of how do I get it, or I got to get him there the fastest. No, I, I get mad at myself, <laughs> and then I'm like, you failed your son, you oh piece of my shit. God. God. He does. It's Dude, so... that's bad. Oh, that, that, that's well, bad. I what, yeah. a, what, what about this? It is immediately not true. goes to this like, <laughs> I, horrible place. I should have looked at the confirm. <laughs> Why couldn't I have looked at the confirmation email? Done something normal like a normal human being does. Uh, I didn't. I, you know, anyway. you were looking at your gambling numbers instead. <laughs> but uh, then, the, you know, you got to start making like a to do list for your. I day. tell him all the not time, not only for work, but like you know, when you on get paper. home, yeah, with a pen and so a you paper. Can cross it off and be like, "Yep, not in your phone." That because you pick up your phone for your digital list, and then now you're on Instagram. I don't know, yeah. man. I wouldn't or do that. TikTok Just keep doing what you're doing. I'm good. Whatever it is, he's I'm done. At. I'm yeah. not changing any of my ways. <laughs> That's what I want to do. Yeah, I'm forty. Seven. I figured it's gonna be harder with me not here, guys. Well, if you're oh, mad at yourself, <laughs> you gotta change it. It is going to be, but I'll wait and see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a 99 <laughs> yeah, yeah. chance of it being yeah, harder, yeah. But, but there's, there's a one percent outlier. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, you know? what if there's a one percent <laughs> chance easier. Yeah, yeah, what if like, it's wow, easier? This is great. Ah, but chances how are could that? It's not gonna happen. Listen, I've said how can certain things have happened? I guaranteed Daniel plenty of things that oh, I said yeah, this will never happen and it happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh my manscaped. God. Yeah. I mean Super Bowls, <laughs> elections, there's so Everything. many things you've told Radio me. Radio will be dead in a year. Yeah. Oh, he's I mean, still saying that one. Yeah. That the big, the big three. Stop saying it. The big three are Falcon Super Bowl, uh, Trump election, <laughs> and, uh, Radio and, dead. and Radio's dead. Those yeah. are the big three. There's some others that our listeners will know. <laughs> There's about Remember when he swore during uh, the pandemic, movie theaters dead, never no, coming okay. back. Cruise yeah. ships, yeah. Yeah. cruise ships, cruise ships, we got a cruise. Coming back. Oh, Tom and Ann Cruise, 2024.com. Yep. Right. Now imagine if your dedication to learning and not being left behind with technology was as good, right? Imagine if you put that effort into like every day I'm gonna like or take I'm gonna take a class in the library to g- get myself better at you know like typing on a computer yeah, or okay, but that is harder for me to understand more than the, the damn triathlon to just go fucking run out there okay, <laughs> all right and then I could do that that's Move simple your legs. <laughs> right like the phone tells him today run thirty minutes yeah, yeah go. I just and get he out, just out, goes out, out there and, <laughs> and I'm fucking sweating miserable but it's just like oh time's up and then that's it like that. 
that's easy for me to do. When it gets on the computer, I was like, all right. Uh, really this is really bad for business Watch owner. this tutorial about how uh, Microsoft Outlook works. And then I'm like, oh, God. And then I hate it so You reject it. I'm going to tell like, you something. Oh. It's a compliment. Can and I tell like, you something? Oh, and I, I you are it. exactly. <laughs> he's exactly like my father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm that's what this, killed my dad in the company. Disease. When they gave him his laptop and he had to learn it and they were going from paper yes. to computers and my dad's like, okay. God damn it, Carol! And that's when he quit. Well, he was like, I'm out. I'm 40 out. years ago. My dad fucking quit. He was out. <laughs> Prentice on public yeah, school. Yeah, and they gave his, I gave my dad's fucking duck, uh, what is it, their territory. They gave it away because he, he was not, he had to, he's like, I hate this fucking Toshiba. <laughs> it was a Toshiba and it was a thick boy. He this goddamn Chinese Toshiba shit. But why could it be? He could he do anything. It. He couldn't do it. He could not do he, it. If, like, if he put Impossible his mind to, to use it. a mouse. Couldn't use a mouse. Couldn't move it. Could not move <laughs> a mouse. Do you use the a same. trackpad at no, all? No, he huh? uses his phone. Am I allowed to say that? That computer on your yeah, desk yeah, in there, sir, is a ruse. <laughs> it's never been turned on. It might as well be an Ikea prop. He uses his phone for all emails. There's, he does not type on a keyboard. Anyway, back to the smile mile. So, yeah. <laughs> stay on top. But I look and it says like it, it, they do hand out like emergency t-shirt and bibs for those parents <laughs> that don't pay attention because <laughs> they know there's going to be parents. For our crack yeah. parents. Yeah. I, yeah. I think like, it's at, at for Ash's. Parents like, were sleeping for in. alcoholic dads. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, at, at seven of Bill at seven a.m. Now the race is start at eight, so I gotta get there. Oh, you gotta know. be the first oh, there. My and, God. You gotta be the first alcoholic. <laughs> Get there because there's going to be a lot. And you got to get that shirt, yeah. But, but also, my sons are not going to want to wake up at six when I let them sleep in the car. So no, no, no. So I'm going to wake up at six thirty, drive there. Wait, where's the egg sandwich coming to play? <laughs> no, no, yeah. Well, that, you no to breakfast for gotta, a ru- smile mile. You got to cook eggs. the egg sandwich in the car. The eggs give them cramps. I've learned this. <laughs> what? So, yeah, yeah. I have to give them egg carbs. cramps. Yeah, yeah. You, you uh, the protein gives you a runner. My cramps. egg cramps <laughs> give me leg cramps. Every time I gave them egg sandwiches, they'd be like, "Oh, cramps." It wasn't the mayonnaise and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> it was the protein. Uh, it's definitely not the protein because I'm virtually certain that Maisie dances on nothing but candy. <laughs> well, she's an athlete. Yeah, it's all candy. <laughs> Marsha and Lynch can eat Skittles all day yeah, and that's fucking her. Her start run. Yeah, our kids are not athletes. They need <laughs> <Sure>. perfect conditions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. Yeah, 72 <laughs> degrees of, yeah. of bagel. If it's 74, <laughs> it's too hot. <laughs> Did you put sunscreen on those? No, oh, my God. Babies? Okay, no, I came home no, no. on it's the Sunday. First- <laughs> he said I burned them up. My kids were as red as this couch. Both yeah, yeah. of them. I knew it. Oh, dude, you can't do that. Shoulders, on, chest, and face. You should have had a bag ready to go. But did they not Snack, run in shirts? Sunscreen. No, it was the whole weekend. He left them in the pool the whole weekend. The whole no weekend. Sunscreen. Well, uh, the, the wizard's babies were all around sticking forks in the goddamn outlets. I had to save their lives. So uh, the sunburn was the last of my goddamn words. I can't. Anyway. Don't leave your babies with Tom. <laughs> and the wizards' babies are so capable; they are. They're curious. They'll get. They'll get into everything. Uh, so I, uh, <laughs> I get there early, right when the <laughs> goddamn shit opens up. Uh, I, I, I park. And then I walk over. To, there's a bunch of them. They're setting up. The DJ starts playing. The uh, bounce house. Oh, yeah. So they got to get it going. Yeah. It's the, over here at, uh, yeah, yeah, the, the parks. Yeah, like, yeah. they set up the vendor village. <laughs> you yeah. know, it's a whole huge yeah, thing. Yeah, party. Yeah, yeah. And then they set up the uh, get your bib. And so I go there. give the Max and Tommy's name. They give me the bib and the I'm number. Alcoholic dads over here, please. <laughs> they, alcoholic dads. And then uh, I, you know, look at the clock. Last I'm like, name. shit, I got to get back home. Get them fed and then give them back here enough time for the race. So I, I rush to my car, get back Wait to the a house. So you went there to pick up the shirts. And he they didn't want to wake them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. The kids are still in bed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I I wouldn't have done it that way. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, look, it's his style. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't too far. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I need to make it easy on them <laughs> <laughs> because it's the only yeah, way they'll do it. Yeah, it's too hard. Listen, I'm not going to do if it. If you guys know anything about <laughs> raising strong children. It's make it easy on them. <laughs> but they won't do it if, if it's hard. <laughs> and the only way. You only have one decision. Yeah, they are, they're only going to say yes to one thing. It's either going oh, there to, to get the bids or where, it's going there to race. Wait, you only have one. Wait until I get to the part where I almost pick Tommy up and then run with him. To get him to the race. <laughs> <laughs> you got to right. get it together, man. So, 
So I get back home, and then the boys are still asleep or whatever, and then I'm, I start panicking. I'm like, oh, shit, I'm out of water. Like, like, <laughs> like, like the nine-year-olds start, uh, they, they say be in the fucking uh, race queue by 8.30 or yeah. 8.45. You're be ready to go. And now at 7, they're still asleep. Yeah, you'll know, be so. stretching. You'll be out there in your spandex. So I, I get in there, and I'm like, boys, get up. We gotta go. Maybe I'm they're like, cramping because <laughs> you just woke them out of a deep sleep to go running. Well, first I put on Unspeakable on YouTube <laughs> because that will I'll be like, hey, Unspeakable is on. Oh my God. You're, just to you're describing like the most horrible, best, worst, best buddies, best buddies. That's the only way to get them up. Your favorite like, shows yeah. on your hero, but your favorite like, show. I'll like, give hey. you candy for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, it's like waking a bum, a bum up with free fentanyl. <laughs> You're like, hey, buddy, we got the good I, got stuff. A, I got a pile of fentanyl over All there. you want. I'm like, it's what as you want. As much as you can eat. You love it. <laughs> anyway, so wait, go, go on. They start watching. Get a bite. And as they're watching on Speakle, I'm making their pancakes and making their bagels. Pancakes. And, and then I serve it to them on a tray while they watch Unspeakable. This is a our morning routine. I so like that. <laughs> Crystal's embarrassed because this is true. Can I, Maisie, <laughs> Andrea, and I'm embarrassed. Andrea yelled at Maisie this morning for not unplugging the toaster. That's a true story. Yeah. <laughs> unplugging the toaster. My yeah. kids do not know how to operate. Yeah, the yeah. You got to, no. Andrea, know what it is. real big on unplugging everything. Andrea's like, you didn't unplug the toaster. Maisie's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> So what are you, what are you guys going to do? <laughs> <laughs> they don't I know think, how to use a toaster. I think they're just going to live with me. I don't know. I love that idea. That's what I'm I want. I'm doing my best. That's what know? I want, but I didn't get that. I got this little Andrea and it doesn't like that's why I've danced me. I have somebody that can needs me and loves me. I'll get them a job. They can sit with butlers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got two desks. Yeah, yeah, they can we play. Got two desks now. Yeah, they can play Minecraft on oh, I'll play, my, I'll play video games. What are you doing? <laughs> You'll never be able to podcast with them though, Dan, because it's going to be here with his two best friends. Oh, I'll be they're going to be playing Monster every day. I'll be playing video games. It's, it'll be super fun. So by the time I get them all dressed and ready and get them shirts on, I'm trying to uh, uh, safety pin their bibs on. And then uh, Tommy's like, ah, this is uh, bothering me. I'm like, does it go in the front or the back? Anyway, um, I, it's, he has sensory issues. It's late. And so I get them in the truck and I'm start hauling <laughs> ass down, down here, right? So it, now the events already started, right? And uh, so that's okay. You when just I like got other ages are already running. Yeah, when yeah, I yeah, yeah. when I got yeah the eleven year old started running already, but when I got there at six thirty or whatever before it opened, uh, there was parking up near the event. <laughs> Right, that parking ceased to exist now because I didn't realize how popular this thing was. Yeah. So I went to my old parking space and it is oh, shit's land. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm panicking. I'm like, where do I go? You can I park at my house. <laughs> well, you're far from Blue yeah, Jacket Park. Yeah. You're a mile, th- <laughs> yeah. smile yeah, two miles. That ain't gonna work. So <laughs> I started driving around. I'm like, where? You know, I'm looking at the why, and like Tommy's got to be in the race queue by eight thirty uh, to even run this. And I signed him up, paid for it, did all this thing. <laughs> like, and you know, we. Anyway, so I park far, real far, like by the elementary school by Blue Jacket that's Park. That's way too far. Like it basically in the grass. Yeah, that's all the way on the other side. In front of the elementary school. So I pull in there because other people were parking there because it's getting yeah. that full. Yeah. And then you got to do what you got to do at so this point. I park. I'm like, get out, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so we get out and then I start running. I'm in sandals and I'm like, go, go. We got to go. So we're now we're running through the path like there's 11 year old girls running because that's the thing. like the 10 year olds start and then after the 10 year olds and then it's Tommy whatever. Yeah. So uh, the 10 year olds are running. I'm running there as fast as possible. The boys are like far behind me because as Crystal knows. Well, you're just trying to get there. Don't stop the race. <laughs> and uh, so I get Tommy there, and I'm not joking. Like. Five minutes before uh, the the DJ is like, "All right, guys, <laughs> you know you ready to go?" They're, he's been hyping him up for yeah, fifteen yeah. minutes, and then uh, so Tommy gets in there with glasses. I'm like, "All right, gotta go!" And then he starts taking off. He gets immediate cramps. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 he does good though. <laughs> Then Max goes, I forget to tie his shoe. He loses his shoe. <laughs> <laughs> he lost his shoe. It yeah. came off. Oh, and he, he lost was, it? It came off. He got it back, but oh. he was the last person in the race. Yeah, oh. All the way last. Yeah, because he, 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 he lost. He had to stop, put his shoe back on. Everybody was gone. Now he's in the field by himself, oh. putting yeah. his shoe on. And, th- and then he started running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he, yeah. So they had to catch up. Whatever. They did the race, but it reminded me that... They accomplished it, I right? say all that to say this. Yeah, well, it's just that I will... <laughs> 
be a detriment to their lives. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, there's a, I, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> wow. No, what I'm gonna do. Wow. That, that was that, good. These are disabilities that I have yeah. that will haunt me for the rest of my life. <laughs> Were and they upset, no, though? No, no. They're, Tommy they're told me, and when me, I so. asked him, how was the race? He said, it was dreadful. <laughs> okay, that's a great adjective. Wow. So does, he, does he not He's a good do? writer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, a good adjective. Oh, yeah, when I'm at, dreadful uh, is fantastic. And I'm like, aren't you proud of yourself? We got up early. We ran a mile. We a lot of people don't do this. And he's like, nope. <laughs> I'm with Tommy. Dreadful. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's I think running right. early in the morning I, is dreadful. Yeah, I just sent hard. you guys this picture. I sent it to Sam and Daniel of Tommy. There's two, but the, okay. zoomed, the zoomed in one is really funny. You can see his little pout. He's in the line and he's just like pouting, waiting to run. Oh, uh, <laughs> not his thing. Oh, okay. Uh, no, but I'm going to force him to keep doing it. Leave him uh, alone. Force him to finish out the season, at least. You know, and, I mean, yeah, and, whatever your commitment was, and then he tries something else. Um, my last question. He didn't and sign then, up for the, <laughs> the running class, right? It was Max? No, he both, they both oh, did. Oh, they both yeah, did. Okay. I, we kind of tricked Tommy into it. Uh, Let him out of it, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, 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 the other but, day, we all went for a family run together, which it was like, I, I felt like it was magical, like we've never done that before. That's cool, and then man. at the end of it tommy said i can see dad's body changing i can see him getting stronger and and i want to keep running so then he wanted to do a mile and a half so he ran extra he's growing he's being being inspired (laughs) i can see my dad finally growing hair on his penis he's been (laughs) picking it down since i was a newborn he does have a couple of you have a couple of hairs on your pecs that you never Uh, had yeah yeah. you got like got like five hairs on each in the Pecs. in the wall oh, street journal the he starts kicking uh, in, in the wall street <laughs> journal they were talking about old what's his name from the um the oscars um that came out nude uh, uh john cena yeah john oh, cena yeah and they actually used the term in the article about his body they called the side rails of his body they called that come come catchers Ew. in the article oh, thought, i'd never not, heard that's that called before. a runner's cut i'd never heard that before somebody called <laughs> it come catchers and it bloom i was reading like a, a wow. it was either the new yorker <laughs> or the wall street journal it was a is it like a bowl no, it's just a line. It's just the lines, I guess. It keeps the runners from running cut. off. The runners cut. Yeah, but yeah. they called them cum catchers. <laughs> That's gross. I'd never heard that before, yeah, yeah. and it blew my hat off. So, you got any cum catchers, bud? <laughs> I do not. Um, the uh, cum gutters. Thank you. The other cum gutters. gutters. Cum gutters. Yeah. I said it wrong. So not someone cum coming on his stomach. I- I mean, I guess, and it runs down the gutter, or maybe it's his own. Like he's jacking it, and it goes on his belly, and then it stays on the gutters. So. Um, <sighs> I was sitting in the kitchen doing the dishes the other day. And then (laughs) Max, who is Max, is way more enamored with uh, me and my job than Tommy is Mm -hmm. uh, currently. Maisie doesn't care at all. Like, where Max is like, he gets a kick out of like anybody that if someone's like, you know, even at the Smile Mile, uh, like there's a BDM and they're like, hey, Tom, what's going on? He likes fame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll also like this. Maisie thinks that you're. In the control of the business, and I just work for you. <laughs> oh, now she figured it out. I knew you'd out. love that. I knew, <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd love that. Well, you're no, the but, one in the polo. No, no, but I she's like, well, he's yeah, a business absolutely. Guy. That's what she thinks, a hundred percent. And there's no, it works. And there's no changing it. Like she thinks that because I'm always <laughs> silly and like what is she's like? Yeah, you work. You work oh, with yeah. Mr. Tom. Oh yeah. Oh my. And you're like the my, business guy. You're my, the business. My sons think I'm a buffoon, and then Crystal's vastly more intelligent than I am. They're, yeah. They even make comments. Mommy's smarter than. Yeah, daddy. yeah, yeah, yeah. They've made yeah. comments before. They're like, uh, "Mommy's way smarter than Daddy." <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. They're like, "How is Daddy?" They question. I'm like, "Why?" Tommy, I have a degree. Tommy said that at the end of the night to get like so that he doesn't have to go to sleep. He just asks Dad questions. Because he knows that he'll talk for a long time. And so th- Tommy says, every now and then I just go, uh-huh. Yeah. To make him think <laughs> I'm listening. And oh I'm God. like, that's what I do oh, to you're only nice. Tommy, <laughs> Tommy does not Tommy. Tom yeah. does that to me. <laughs> By the way, I have, a lot in common. Like, uh-huh. I have a lot in common with your boy. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal ruined the old, the, I thought that Tommy was listening to every word. I was like, he's listening to me, finally. You have I'll tell him about the world. Be, I didn't ruin it. <laughs> he would say that. When we do, occasionally Tom and I'll have like meaningful talks in here in the mornings where we talk about the things that our kids are doing that mean something to us. And you're like, yeah, the boys will stay up late. I know they, they want to stay up, but they'll listen to me and I tell 
telling them about space. Yeah, but like, you're telling them about like, war and shit. Yeah, like, no, you're telling them yeah, about something they don't even Nuclear war, space. Nuclear war, space. Like, uh, what the hell? You just teach them how to tie <laughs> yeah. their goddamn shoes and use I, a toaster. Tell them, like, spooky ghosts. When you start talking about plutonium, you start realizing how little you know about it. <laughs> Which really like or the history of the world? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, don't I, don't know, I don't know where to start. <laughs> I'm like, all how I know fish, about uh, evolve. All I, it. all I know about plutonium is whatever I learned in Back to the Future. <laughs> so anyway, I know nothing. Uh, Max asked Alexa. They're like Alexa. This is what he said. He's like Alexa. Who is Tom from Tom and Dan? And then of course Alexa's Uh-oh. like Tom and Jerry. <laughs> 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 And yeah, yeah, but but I don't know why he asked that. But then I get scared because I was yeah, like, "Oh shit!" He's gonna Google it. He's realizing. He's gonna put it on YouTube. Yeah. He's realizing Ugh. he could ask technology about things that it knows. Like yeah. he, it already knows, like to do math and it answers other questions. Maisie's so, watch. Someone's gonna that. say some inappropriate stuff at school, and he's gonna say, "Alexa, yeah. what's a peanut?" Ma- Maisie, what's a Maisie will ask the review. Or she'll ask her watch the review of every place we're going. So if we're going to like Maymock, she'll be like, "I do that." Uh, uh, sorry, what's the rating of Maymock? I'm like, where the fuck <laughs> yeah. are you? You're such a Karen. Yeah, but, but that right? tells... She's like a junior Karen. It tells me that they're close to realizing, all right, the, the internet will show me anything yeah. I want. We'll Unlimited ask it for. Dicks. Yeah, yeah. Or, or, like, or all the pictures of my dad. If I start, like, if I'm curious about whatever, yeah. Yeah. Google will show it to you. Yeah. So then, immediately... Blue I, Speedo. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, you know what? This is... We're close to the boys seeing all these goddamn embarrassing yeah. videos of me. You're not going to be a me. hero yeah. anymore. <laughs> what about the photo? with the wizard's uh, ding dong out <laughs> with your sister. Uh, no, that's right. not on the or, no, or what was that? Or what? Remember that? Or was it you with a oh, with the hot dog? The hot dog. The hot dog. Oh, that's not on the internet. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of things we missed. A yeah. pivotal time. We're lucky. We just like a lot of our uh, stuff is mm-hmm. uh, hard copies. Yeah, and it's in a cabinet in the house. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, but, but they will that's never. Okay, though. That's safer. It's it, way safer. We looked in cabinets. The kids look in the internet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like uh, cabinets yeah. are cabinets are old people. Stuff. Tommy yeah. looked in my nightstand the other day. Hey, oh, oh my god. god. Oh, you found, oh, found your medicine? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> no, no, no. Maisie thinks I use an inhaler because yeah. of my asthma. Yeah, yeah. found my oh. special neck yeah, massager. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> she wow. found the oh, berry. No. Oh my god. Oh, no. <laughs> she found the big berry. <laughs> Big Barry. <laughs> she found Big Barry. Mom, are you Hello, baby. Goes, what is this microphone, Mom? <laughs> Don't do Mom. He's singing into it. <laughs> it's me, Big Barry. So, anyway, oh, so then I was like, boy. I was like, well, how, what, how do I? Okay, so then I was like, hey, boys, you remember? Hey, you guys see Big Barry? <laughs> 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 I gotta start some paint. I'm like, you boys remember Spider Man, right? And they're, they're like, yes. And I'm like, you when you watch Spider Man, the actor in, in the Spider Man movie, he's just an actor. He's not the real Spider Man. You understand? And then they're like, yeah. What are you trying to Why? Why are you? Oh, you know, because I, because I'm so when you see your dad, that's just an actor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I was like, I was like, you understand acting, right? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, so that guy's just playing Spider Man. He's not really Spider Man. That's Tobey Maguire. Choir, or whoever the hell's so other white guy. 40, year. 40 years ago. God damn. My God. I'm sorry, but Toby Maguire will always be the Spider Man. I don't know the new Spider Man. Yeah, you know, that's not Superman. That's Christopher Reeves, God damn it. <laughs> I don't know that guy either. Tom Hardy or whatever. That's yeah, he's one. my Toby's my Spider Man too. He is. He's my Spider Man. And then there's some other one. I don't, I don't know. There's, there's so the many. one that has the big Elvis hair. Garfield. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Garfield heard, the cat. Yeah. So and they're like and they're like so I'm like if you ever see dad in on the internet and well, like, you're not just telling them to look. <laughs> right, you ever see right. your dad with no, a no, blue no, speedo I'm on and a say, boner? It's not him. I'm, it's an actor. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying like the things I did as Drunky the Bear or anything yeah. that you see that you're like that's not like the what I know is my dad. I'm like yeah. that's just because I'm acting. What about the people that that tell stories? What about the girl on our YouTube last week that said, uh, uh, "Hey, I missed." Given Drunky a lap dance at Tiffany Slumber Party. <laughs> Love the show, everybody. Uh, I don't even remember that uh, happening. Yeah. Or, 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 or Tiffany that Slumber Party. <laughs> yeah. yeah, back That's in the day. Back in the day, we have a girl. Smash that mirror. We and had, you don't yeah. remember it. We That's right, because you never told me about it. <laughs> no, there she was no said, lap dance. She said he wasn't acting uh, too bashful when I was giving him a lap dance <gasps> no, at Tiffany. Look, look up our YouTube. Give me her phone number. I don't have a phone number. What is her name? 
<laughs> wow, I get to see it in action. It is actually crazy. <laughs> I know. I wish Andrea would act like this. Andrea <laughs> thinks I'm disgusting. My skin is hot right now. Yeah, Andrea doesn't even care. There's no jealousy whatsoever. Like, she would, like, because she knows nobody else wants to fuck me. <laughs> It's true. It's not that I'm worried anybody <laughs> wants to fuck him. I don't want him to want to fuck anybody else. Oh, I would have fucked everybody else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would have fucked you guys. Scared. Like, everybody in this room I would have fucked. Like, that's just part of life. So Don't write that down for Mo. I'm hoping. I meant that as, like, a general for everybody. That if they ever see the embarrassing Is stuff. Is she using Mo to sue you? I don't know. That's why I just put <laughs> well, the statement out there. If you send it to yourself <laughs> in a letter, you're fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So I'm hoping that eventually when they see the embarrassing stuff and they think, like, oh, that doesn't seem like how dad acts, they'll remember, like, oh, yeah, he told us he's acting and this is just a character. May does player. get a kick when somebody comes up and goes, like, hey, man, love the show. And then she'll smile. Mm-hmm. And it's cute, like, to see that. But she definitely thinks that you do the business side of what we do. And then occasionally I, I like, pop up and I'm like, hi. You know, like, <laughs> so then funny. Also, I thought <laughs> that, like, you know how, like, if you did something, like, you're on Girls Gone Wild back in the 90s as in your college yeah. and now you're a mom with kids yeah, yeah. right and then those videos got uh they're on the internet somewhere i feel like now you could tell your kids those are fakes and they would believe it that didn't work out so well when the freak nick videos and documentary came out <laughs> well that was, I, i'm saying now it's ba- because they're fake i are think it's too the- old i think it has to be new not to go because her- this is fake old too no but people will be like <laughs> why because like, it doesn't make sense to take old footage and try to doctor it right it's too hard that's what I'm saying. It so didn't work. Like, this yeah, past- but you just tell your kids what. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, They're yeah, dumb. Yeah, yeah. But, you know? but it'd be better if it were like newer. Just like right now is the best time to have something happen and be like, well, that's totally fake. It would right be- now is the best. And it's getting better. Every yeah, minute yeah. forward is the best time. Yeah. So I will get to a point where you could just even real video and embar- anything embarrassing yeah. on the internet. Did you, you see just the picture fake. of Sabrina that I did for our YouTube channel? Where she has her arm up, and it's just a sea of hair coming out of her pit. Oh, God. And it's her face with a nose ring the whole nine. I sent it to her, and she's like, holy shit, that's it, like me. You know, she's like, it's crazy. Like, it's yeah, it's there. Yeah. Because so, I, I don't even have the good one. So it's opened back up the ability to really do anything or have anything embarrassing on the internet, because you could always just deny Is your ding dong out there? Real. Ne- it didn't end up on the internet. I do have me pictures neither. of people have taken yeah. a hard I don't have my ding dong on the internet. Ding-dong. You've Is, tar- uh, you've, you've, you've are took you naked on the internet? <laughs> no. No. You naked on the I've internet? I've never I don't know. I don't think put I myself in That's a... That's possible. I guess Remember it's you took possible, those pictures of me I in the shower? I, I think it's possible, <laughs> but I don't. I didn't swap a lot of photos. Oh, I didn't. On our I, original honeymoon. Nefarious photos might be out there. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh. We're missing a full conversation I've never heard before. You Wait, guys what did you say? Did you guys take, like, the weirdo, like... like no. the what was the What was the skater that had the... The t- M- Tanya Tanya Harding. Tanya Harding. Remember her sex tape for her wedding? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. No, Did no, you guys no. make a sex tape in your wedding? No, no. She, you, she took some hard copy <laughs> pictures of me in the shower. Uh, on your wedding night. On the wedding See, night. See, that's why I like Crystal. On the, on the, the predator's, predator's yeah, wedding yeah. night. Remember those hard copy pictures. I like that's a little redneck, too. And uh, so they're around. Baby, somewhere, he's somewhere. a football star. No, those are, they might be around. They were digital, and then we got burglarized, and somebody stole that camera. So oh, they might be there. somewhere. Yeah, yeah, oh my yeah. God. So yeah, yeah. So not there. with me. Yeah, yeah. There is some. It uh, was your dick out. Heroin alley. Yeah, yeah. It was out. Was um, it uh, the way you still are? You does he still bick it down? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she hasn't seen it in yeah. months. Oh. No, she's Let's seen talk it. about something else. Look at like it. it. I don't want you to bick it. I don't like it bicked. Stop it. He likes it, it though. It's not about Stop what Stop manscaping it down. It's like level it's, two. I uh, yeah, take it up to a one or two. Yeah, but uh, my whole point is I want not have no hair. Well, he does Your he wife is someone so down it, there. So that it can take longer. She ain't to... down there. <laughs> <laughs> no one's down there. That's why I don't... It's like, clean up your yard. You live in the desert and no one's around. Who cares? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, um, yeah, just throw your trash wherever it goes. Cactuses yeah. don't care. <laughs> Unless the federales come out here, nobody's out there. <laughs> just me and the coyotes. Um, Crystal, thanks so much for coming. Oh, yeah. oh you're going to send me See, out on that note? It's all awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. I mean, we could do a couple of uncensored voicemails if you guys want oh, to, just like kind of cl- cleanse the palate uh, off well, of, uh, of uh, you know, yeah, no. shaving your pubes. <laughs> <thing down. laughs> yeah, it is, it like, is off-putting. I mean, yeah, yeah. it is spring break next week. You guys going to get crazy? I am. Ah. I am. I tried to bang Ma- 
uh, Andrea. Oh, whoa. I almost made yeah. a mistake there. <laughs> I careful. tried to bang Andrea in the hot tub uh, last time we did Ew. this, but she was on in a rental hot tub. But no. she was yeah. she was on her menstrual cycle. Oh, come on, you were in the hot tub with her in a menstrual cycle. I mean, she, I, yeah, but look, she does what she wants. I don't know what I don't know what that thing does. Or, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But then, I don't know how it works. You know what I heard today hmm. via the BDM page. Oh, God. Becca Rouse told me on the BDM page, and I'm today years old when I found this out, and I've never thought about this in my life. Becca Rouse said that, because somebody was talking about, like, when you fart and you get that fart bubble that comes up the back crack of your ass, and you can feel it ride your pants Uh up. And then somebody said that girls do that when they fart, that it'll come up the front. Like that you can fart. Yeah, that's been a bit. The front bar. Yeah. I didn't know that yeah. was a bit. I didn't know that was a thing. It I can roll back or front. I didn't know that Feel you guys front, back, a little side bubble side. creeping up. I've oh, never thought about women farting the pussy. Separating the lips. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <disgusting. laughs> that's what I wanted. <laughs> come on. She's the no, best. No, yeah, Slowly this, peeling them apart. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. One yeah. little no, air no, bubble. Just like a jelly sandwich. No, come on. Just like the Tanya Harding video. Stop. No one wants that. Yeah, yeah. All the way up. One bubble. Nature's zipper. This is what you guys are looking forward to when I leave, Tom. Nature's zipper. They're gonna, uh, sons are going to listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's too much of this. There chances that they're going to land on this one. I can't wait till they go back pop and listen in to, to listen to something. No, but BDM it, episode where if, Crystal if, talks uh, about throwing Ziploc bags of shit at people. If I, <laughs> that was one of my favorite episodes. Did I talk about that? Yeah, it's one, one of, one of my favorites. Here's what will get one you. One of my vault. favorite Crystal stories. It's in the vault. One day I'll accidentally die uh, doing something. <laughs> with oh the van away. Oh my God. <laughs> and then. Like, I hope it's shaving your pubes. <laughs> oh, you know, man. Cut them. Cut them. You're baking them down. He cuts a big vein. Please don't accidentally die. I'll make them. That's going to happen. <laughs> it bleeds do? out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, uh, you know, Lieutenant Dan's heritage. <laughs> they all died the same way. That's what's going to happen to uh, me. Oh, my God. And uh, when I do die, my sons are going to go back and listen to all the shows to get to know me. And then they're going to hear yeah, yeah. So, And then they're going to get to well, know Will your boys care enough to go back person. and get to know you? If you die. That's what Ross told me my a long time ago. My dad's dead and yeah. I didn't care. Yeah, yeah, if you did a whole yeah. podcast. You know what? You didn't. What? You didn't. He didn't do a whole podcast. Okay, but like you are, you get freaked out. Video. Like what, you don't look at his videos because you get freaked out. Too personal. No, <laughs> I've never heard this before. I mean, this I shit just—it's like, like he gets too I'm freaked in. out. I don't He's think, like, yeah, no, I don't know what his voice sounds like, and then he'll hear it and he'll be like, oh, it's emotions he doesn't <laughs> want to feel. Yeah, that's yeah. emotions he doesn't want to feel. Smokes. <laughs> I gotta put that no. on. There. Tom oh doesn't want to get sad. Never so he heard that away. before. Oh my God, yeah, yeah. You, can you I gotta get some therapy, man? Who wants to get sad? Who? You gotta, you gotta get sad. You know what? I'm gonna get sad today. Yeah, if you don't deal with your emotions, you become a just a robot. Yeah. You gotta I mean, get sad, and then you cu- and then you come out the other side, yeah. and it's, then it's gone now. And then yeah. you wake up, uh, and now you gotta you're heal. Like, you gotta heal, and man. you're like, I'm not sad anymore. I can read this smile mile email, and you do it, and oh you get there early. No, 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 what no. if, what if that's the ticket? It is the no, ticket. No, yeah. no. What if we can free your mind? There's no free, no free your mind. And the rest will follow. <laughs> no, man, in vogue. I used to love that song. That's a good song. Y- you can't change. There's nothing that can be done. Nothing can be done. I know that as a fact. And everybody should nothing live matters. by that. <laughs> you live by the fact that nothing can be done. You are who so you are. So then why even try with your boys? They can't change. That's just who they are. That's what you say. That's, yeah. No, 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 no. I, <laughs> <laughs> I can force them to change. All right. Um, Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. BartTheRealtor.com. Yeah. Yep. It's my uh, last. Show with Chris. <gasps> I know. Oh no! But you might pop back. I mean, I mean, if you want to. Yeah, and wanna... if you guys ever do a two wife crew again, I'll pop yeah. in over there. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll do. We're thinking about rebooting that, but only as an animated feature. <laughs> right now, right now. No, uh, no guest, tops. Guest voiced uh, Tone yeah. X. And it's available streaming only. Yeah, streaming only. <laughs> Two Life Crew streaming. On Podbean. Yeah, uh, yeah on Tubi. We should stream oh, something, and, but not save it on the internet. Like, I've, wa- uh, I've wanted to do like, that. And once you hear it, you got to be there, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. then we just turn and do a radio game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Uh, <laughs> uh, bye-bye. How are things in the bedroom? Could they be spicier? Could they be a bit more exciting? I've got the place. Fair Villa Megastore, mm. your home of the biggest butt plug no, come on. in all no, no, of the not, town. No, they don't want us to say that. It's more it's the than... biggest butt plug in okay. all well, of the town. Well, they have they have that, but uh, they don't want us to just uh, highlight the B plugs. So, you know, 
Oh, yeah, they I, got don't all, ever, I don't think we ever have. They got all different. And the technology they oh, have. Yeah. Digital, I mean, they got the uh, digital B plug. Yeah, yeah. People are still living in the 90s oh, yeah. with uh, sex toys. Yeah, you like, put a condom on a banana? <laughs> get out of here. Get with right. it. We live in Tron. I, uh, I mean, they have some I live ri- in Tron. ridiculous, uh, I mean, enhancement, uh, adult toys. Yeah. Uh, but, like, yeah, maybe that's not good. what you want. But here's something I yeah. know that everybody needs. You're all going to that party. You're all going to that get-together, that birthday party. You need, like, a fun gag gift. But you want it to be quality. You don't want it to be garbage. If the Sanford location is pretty much got anything yeah. you need. That There's a special store that we all know of that used to be in the mall that would have all the spicy stuff. Yeah, Guess yeah, yeah. what? <laughs> this store is like that on acid. This yep. store has a hundred times more stuff in it. Yeah, no, I like weed themed stuff. Yeah. Uh, they get in, but also Funny greeting cards, funny dice, shot glasses. Yeah, games. Uh, yeah. You know, like and, you know, bachelorette stuff. You, you've been sitting around, you're wondering, where do I get a dick straw? That's where you get a <laughs> yeah, dick yeah, straw. you're right. Uh, also, lingerie, yep. costumes, Fair Villa has top notch. It doesn't I, even have to be lingerie. Pajamas, just nice, cozy wear for ladies. Yeah, but uh, super high quality because they vet all their partners they work with. We're, mm-hmm. They're not getting stuff from Timu here. Well, most of them <laughs> are very right. small, like little yeah. boutique companies that they've been working with. They've been working yeah. with a man that makes leather bird masks. You know the the yeah. the plague masks. That yeah. people wear in the orgies. Yeah, yeah. They've yeah. been working with a guy that hand makes leather plague masks for almost like forty years. And there's multiple locations. Someone asked, like, which location advertises with us? Fair Villa. Uh, it's all locations. Yeah, all of them. They're the original Fair Villa Mega Store on OBT. Yep. Then you got uh, the a location on the coast, a location in Secrets Hideaway in Kissimmee. Yep. You got a location on I Drive. You got a location up uh, in um, Palatka. East Palatka. East Palatka. They support our events. They support the Key BD. West. They're uh, one of the Sponsors for the BDM only party that we're doing, the Luau. They're one of those spots. They're they're always down for whatever we're doing. Yeah. And you know what? Just go support them. Yep. In uh, Sanford, the location of Sanford, a lot of them, fairvilla.com. Welcome back to a mediocre time with Tom and Dan. I'm Tom. I am Dan. Uh, Sabrina's on the couch with us. Hey! How you doing, Sabrina? Hey! 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 Sabrina the from couch. the News Junkie is here. Um, How did she get here? A car, I think. <laughs> Man, that Just Okay party was awesome. Yeah, yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah it was That's lit. what I say. Uh, Mo did <laughs> execute the toothless love. Yeah. <laughs> it was blood. Yeah. Yeah. You had to be there. Yeah. 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 I've never he seen. ate it. it just right from the middle. <laughs> I've never seen that much blood. He, he, was, uh, he did a move where it, he held it by the tail and bam, bam. Did yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was uh, yeah. violent. It was a little uh, aggressive. And I was surprised the tail, the tail held. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. normally are, those things tear, but uh, it did but not. But we are selling the claws now for as a keychain. Uh, <laughs> and an aphrodisiac. <laughs> yes, <laughs> what? A lot of people don't know that a lot of exa- exotic animals' nails are used in a lot of primitive boner pills. <laughs> I mean, you're supposed to, like, grind them up and yeah. consume them? Yeah, like oh. tiger, uh, tiger's nails, I believe, were one of the first. The tiger penis. It's, oh, it's, always, tiger penis. it's usually their penis. Yeah, yeah but it's all cartilage is what I'm getting what at. What if I just oh, made horns. little hooks and then I think that would make anyone horny that I'm around because I'm just like oh come over here but they're tiny little yeah yeah, yeah little horny hook yeah. <laughs> I should leave I, oh, that was a bad weird joke it's okay we so, like weird um, no judgment here man I can be- <laughs> before we started Sam was making fun of me because I said uh, yeah dude to Sabrina <laughs> but you and, like, uh, yeah, dude. and it was because Sabrina said something she in thanked earlier. you for having her here yeah. And then you acted like a weirdo. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Totally cool, she, was like, she was like, thanks again. I'll do my impression of her. I'm not going to do an impression of her. I'll say it like I think she said it. I She's make like, it deep enough. Hey, thanks again. For Deeper. Ha- uh, thanks again for having me in. I really appreciate it. And you were like, yeah, anytime, dude. Yeah. <laughs> make yourself at home. Yeah, bitching rat. Oh you got, got the riz. You're yeah. not acting yeah. like you used to. Bussing with my rizzes. <laughs> no cap. Go, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> dude. So the, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Not, yeah. Not, that means an ass. Oh, I don't know yeah. if you know this. God, just okay was oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did it wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's you it. Damn it. Like Whoa. You were a baby. It's a hyper stimulation right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. This is what we do. This is what we do. Actually, no, that's I'm old. Actually, oh. That's old woman. I need to take my headphones off. I'm so off. sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm coming my pants right now. Stop. Okay, so <laughs> it made me realize something because I'm being exposed to Whoa. my Whoa. son's, uh, like, uh, their age uh, speak and, like, uh, old slang and stuff. Nine, eight and nine. Eight and nine, yeah, right? Like, <laughs> I talk- know that he didn't even know that. <laughs> <laughs> they talk like Castleberry rapper 
for babies. <laughs> Tell me so, more. I'm so, ready for children. So when you try to emulate what your kids are saying, you sound like a real yeah. dumb old man yeah. trying to be cool, right? Yeah. But Sabrina <laughs> is in a half generation under me. No, and, I'm not. Uh, I'm not that much younger than <laughs> you. Yes, am you I? are. Yeah, yeah, I think, well, yeah, I don't you're younger than me, right? Uh, All right. Everyone say their age at the I same time. I don't know time. you're uh, 47. 37. Uh, 34. Uh, yeah, yeah you're way yeah, younger. 42. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, a half yeah. generation. Like yeah, a full yeah, generation. Yeah, but I should have kids by now. You're, let's be no. honest. No. Yeah. I'm freezing my eggs, but I'm just going to take them to Alabama so they live forever. Yeah, yeah. It's a, you know, it, it, nowadays you could have kids up until uh, yeah, you know, no, 40 that's the plan. Yeah. You know, you um, want a kiddo? Yeah, I would oh, no. love children. Would you, just would you want a find... girl or a boy, or do you want kids? Just healthy. I'm open for both. Yeah, at this, oh, no, both. like yeah. Uh, or I, I would like say that. you choose your gender. Let's make this weird. Now oh, that's uh, cool. Let the kid choose. What if the kid, kid choose. could choose it at birth, though? Yeah, That'd no, be I'll, dope. I'll just tape it up. They can't see it until they're ready to decide. Oh yeah. Now, how are you going to do it? Uh, kind of like a gender reveal, but they decide which uh, TNT box to set off. <laughs> no, no. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> not the gender reveal. Oh. The kid. Oh, the how kid. will it happen? Why, are, are, you oh, to, yeah. are you volunteering? Are you volunteering? Are you like... No, 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 yeah, no. no. I don't know. You want to do it old school? <laughs> <laughs> it all depends. I just, uh, the very least, want someone to do with. I'm not, I don't see myself like, well, my biological crotch is doing its last ticks. I guess I'll be a single mom like Miranda. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, I am uh, going to just go with the flow of it. I would love to have a child one of these days. Not anytime soon. Pretty chill with the three animals I have. Yeah, I waited my life till Maisie asked me this last night, which is really weird. Uh-huh. That this would come up. But Maisie goes, how old were you when you had me? And I didn't really remember. Yeah, 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 and yeah. then this is where it got embarrassing. Hmm. I'm not good at math, but my kid is because she got that from Andrea. She just did the math, and she's like, oh, you're 39. And I was like, I'm 39. And then what? I realized that I'm just a dumb old man. No, I'm it. <laughs> when I pee, a fart comes out. I don't know how to do math. <laughs> like, it's the stuff. Well, in that case, I'm an old man, too. But 39, and, and I got called. I got teased for being old dad, this, that, and the other thing. But I don't know, man. I kind of dig it because yeah. Yeah. I did Al Pacino a lot of, just had a kid at, like, 78. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, then, well, he's uh, a I did radio, yeah, right? I, I, I partied. <laughs> yeah. I did radio. I dated people. I fucked around. I acted stupid. You know, like, I... And that's I, my, my plan. I, I built a... Uh, a career, yeah. and then I uh, then it fell apart. You watch and eight I, hours of TV at one time. <laughs> that I don't even worry about feeding anybody. But I think our sperm. Do, I mean, it gets a little wonky. I think yeah. you get a real old. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. But, it, like that. but it stays pretty good for the whole our whole lives. Like, I, that's I, our I, biology. I the eggs get out, and they get a little. This cracked. is what I heard. Uh, <laughs> this is what I heard. That's what it, I think. Do you guys know people with old? Sunny that up, please. Oh yeah, okay. with what? And old dads. I know yeah. people with older parents. This is what I've heard. I've heard that people that have old dads. Like older than me. Like I'm not even really that much of an old. Like we're in our twenties and are like, yeah, I'm gonna go uh, celebrate my dad's 80th birthday. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Those those kids have earlier. Like they're the guys that look like. They look old. Receding hairlines. Like they, yeah, 15, they have the male. Yeah. They're the young, oh, they're, they're they're old they're young man. They're oh, old young oh, man. Well, because they have to be the dad. That, that makes an old that, baby. That, thank you. It makes, <laughs> an, <laughs> yes. it know, makes an old young man. That's science. science. So I guess I won't be having children. That's a lot. That's bigger, science. Yeah. So the longer know, like, you wait, the more potential you have of popping out an old young man. That could take care of themselves, though. That's the biggest. They point. can. They're great. They're just they're horrible to look at, but they're fine. Is they're fine people. They're fine. What do you consider an old dad? For that to to be true, I've got some friends that like when my dad was like in his like forty forty five, their dads were like like uh, Sabrina said like sixty. But I mean, it, yeah. everyone like their big thing is like, don't you want to run after your kids? I'm like, no. I know. 25 year old dads that are not running after yeah, their exactly. kids either. So let's be honest yeah. here. No one's running after the kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, kids don't uh, run, so I you're would... not running after them. They have an iPad. They're very easy. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get them on a Peloton or hoverboard. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're all sitting, uh, they're just addicted to screens. Did you go to Ireland? Is that where you went? Yes. I okay. went to Ireland last year. What did you uh, think of that? Because Sam's going to Ireland. Yeah, I'm Huge going fan. April. I was a very big fan. I, I will say I would like to go again to do all of the things that I couldn't do at the time i went um basically to get attached to a wedding i decided to skip the whole wedding because it was like oh, a family wow. friend 
which worked out great. But I do I, like, like that. Like I'm going up for the, the wedding, party. and then I'm just going to skip the wedding. Yeah, yeah. Skip the wedding. <laughs> because it's the worst part the of trip. the trip. <laughs> yeah, it was. I mean, uh, but I got there like eight o'clock in the morning, day after the wedding. We stayed at because it's a wedding. I don't know how they got the deal, but it's uh, it's called the the Wilton Manor or something like that. Something Manor, and it is a damn castle Ooh, like yes. the the guy who drove me from the airport to that area and uh, he's like wait do you say this and all <laughs> of a sudden it was like gates open guy with the top hat was yes. like hello miss ambra and i go how did you know my name dude i'm wearing these oh, jeans you were Tom. Which are, <laughs> like a rabbit <laughs> and uh I, I, like i was not dressed for the occasion and he's like with an umbrella let me show you to your room and it was oh, so wow. fancy and i got to be there all of 12 hours before we had to go to the shitty airbnb across the street but ireland was incredible i just like everyone's super nice Weather was kind of shitty, but then you go to the uh, giant mountains that I'm uh, skipping on the name, but it's like the Ring of Kerry. There you go. Yeah. Uh, Ring of Kerry was beautiful. Ended up renting a car. Now I feel invincible as a driver. I was going to say, I heard it's uh, it was pretty terrifying. gnarly to drive over there. It was terrifying, but We're not doing awesome. it. We're uh, not renting a car. Do we're it. Going, we're though. going by train. Everywhere. Oh, the train is supposed to be Can great, too, but like we didn't have time. Hour? Get it for like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> right Not only is it left side, but also the roads Super are narrow. like, oh, and then everyone, you have these big trucks coming at you. I'm like, all right, I'm going to kill my whole family, or we're going to make it through this car. That's cool, though. And it was a great time. I really loved it, and uh, I highly recommend it. And I don't know what else to tell you about it, because I can't remember. Oh, okay. Yeah. I drank a lot of Guinness, a lot of uh, beef stew. Yeah, yeah, mm. you gotta eat the like you ate all the like the I'm cottage glad, yeah. eat pies and the. I'm glad it's that. a stereotype of uh, poop my brains out. What you eat and drink at uh, in Ireland? Yeah, as Guinness. But and it was very cheap too. too. <laughs> I was like, that's what I want to guess. Yeah. 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 We've yeah. never done that. I want a racist guess. Yeah, <laughs> every place we ever went, we traveled together. We always fucked it up. We go to Chicago <laughs> and eat Crystal Burgers. We go to Philly and we were, we're going Taco to Sabaros yeah, in New York City. Yeah, exactly. Like we always fucked it up. Never got the because you're not a food guy. Yeah, no, I know, but still, you should, uh, you should. Uh, make the attempt to eat the local cuisine yeah. just because it's such oh, a waste. Oh, that's all they have don't. anyways, I yeah. hope you know. Yeah, yeah I don't think Ireland, Ireland really goes, they're like, well, you could either do this or you could go to Ireland's uh, Del Taco or something. They love else. fries, though. Yeah. I mean, they'll get chips or everywhere. Yeah, yeah, just fries, everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but <laughs> you take it was any lovely. sporting events or anything? Or? Who, me? Yeah, over there, or did you? Oh, no, no, no. But I did hear about the uh, random sport that they have that's a mix between like rugby and soccer. And uh, apparently there's one town fully dedicated to it. My driver, I had two hours with him, and he told me all this stuff. And I'm like, sir, I just got off a 10-hour flight. Can you please <laughs> shut up? Uh, I'm sorry. That's my clan, the, the McChirps. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Talk. I love a good talk. But I was also like, what t- day is it in time? And then he's like, I'm going to bring you to the gas station dedicated to the Obamas. That's where you're from. And sure enough, there's a statue of Michelle and Barack. At a gas station, and in apparently Ireland. this tiny little town loves the Obamas. <laughs> they oh, built a statue There's at a gas station. A home? statue. It's called the Obama Gas Station. And then if you go right down the road, not to be confused with the Black Obama Gas Station, because there's a black. That's owned, a Sitco, I believe. Yeah, and it's also got really good food at it, but that's a different one. But there are multiple Obama Marts, and yeah, I mean, good yeah. for them. Uh, that's something to fall back on. If this, I don't have kids, it's definitely gas stations for me. <laughs> <laughs> this is how uneducated Carl's. I am. I have no idea how Ireland is political system or like I'm the. Do they have a king? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they were part of who's the, the president Brexit. of Ireland? I, I have no know. idea. Uh, you know. I, I'm guessing there'd be a prime minister. Yeah, yeah. Who's the prime minister? You I'll know, I've never what. see yeah, that person. Uh, they, as soon as they saw and they have a yeah, found out I was American, they were like, oh, so Trump, huh? And I'm like, well, can we not? Tell me about your president <laughs> or the, the gas stations. I don't care. So they really just wanted to learn all the stuff. Like, they're, like, they're like, it's talk embarrassing. About Trump, talk about this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was they lovely. wanted all the American I'm stuff. Like, I feel like I'm back on the radio. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. You can't <laughs> even escape it when you're on vacation. I can't wait. I'm very prepared for this election. That's my third uh, as far as my radio career goes. So oh, yeah, I'm for- really pumped for it. I forgot oh, about yeah. that. Yeah, burn yeah, some yeah. bridges. Sorry. I, I mean, mean, no, you're good. Oh, you guys, Get the yeah. We don't talk about it yeah. on our radio show. Fuck that. But then we get 
called yeah. pussies for not talking about other people are like, and that's pe- the problem. Because they're just <laughs> trying to stay in the middle. We're Look perverted at these. filth to support pedophiles. And I'm like, yeah, shut <laughs> up. I'm pretty sure no, like, uh, you Get know. the fuck out of here. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no one wants to hear us no. talk about it. No, you don't want to hear my takes. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I think secretly I'll everybody talk, I, does. I can, do this. I can do this politics. Who do you think has the bigger ding dong? And I think they're neck and neck. I think Biden's got a big, long, dead, purple can I tell gray. You guys so that, I think yeah. Trump's got also got a long dead, but like a big nah, pink one. That diaper's pushed it. I think up they that. both got. Pl- I mean, they got big <laughs> bulbous ding dogs. Couple that, years I'll talk ago, about that, but that's about it. I did. Uh, 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 this is crazy. A bit for the radio, oh. where I spent the day over at the nudist resort. Oh, yeah. I, I'm yeah. familiar with yeah. it. Oh, yeah. The old recycle yeah. nudist <laughs> resort. Right, I'm glad we're talking when about does radio. Mr. B start doing. Yeah. This? <laughs> Yeah. Wait, he's he's now at this point, he's just recycling radio bits. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, good he's for having him. people. Uh, how long nice. can people dance? But he makes a- so much more yeah, money yeah, than yeah, we yeah, ever yeah. could. <laughs> when you yeah. make that much, you're not you going to the old Cypress Cove. <laughs> so I, that was my first time uh, ever going to a nudist resort. Okay. And yep. so I was like, you know, here we go. All right, it's fine. Beautiful entrance. And then as soon as I turn the corner, there's a fully nude old man balls to the side of his bicycle, like seat. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. oh my God. And yeah. then the rest of it was, I've got to tell you, when it comes to whose dong is bigger with these old ass men running for president, <laughs> oh. it's, it doesn't matter about the dong because the balls are, they're giant <laughs> okay. and they yeah, yeah, sink. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about this for a second. Yeah, because because I, I, it's <laughs> highly uncomfortable, wanna, so don't worry wanna, about that. I want to have an intervention. ball lifts more popular? Because I don't know. nobody looks at mine. Yeah, I yeah. say just. Uh, yeah, I want to. I want to have an something. intervention with you for a second oh, because what? this is coming. For Does you. he have big balls? No, no, no. I've seen his balls, balls so. but it's been a minute, so I couldn't describe <laughs> them or draw them for you. But here's something that bothers me. It's not the nudity at the nudist resorts that ever bothers me. Penises, breasts, vagina, whatever. You got what you got. What I don't like at the nudist resorts and why it's weird and why you're in that same camp is they shave it down where there's no hair. You and when, shave and, all of your pubes. And, when you, and when you shave it down I where it's big and when you're walking around, it is a weird thing to see. Like, you're very tan and a lot of these old, old men are oiled. Why are you and shaving all your pubes? And they have no pubes. He and wants to just, look young. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a, a baby? weird I thing mean, to it's, do. It's a weird no, thing to do. It's not on, the nudity. <laughs> it's the pubes. You need to have a little you pubes. Have pubes. You should yeah. have some pubes. Okay, all the, okay. So I've been I've been Manscaped. defending myself Manscaped. for years. Manscaped. Manscaped's a shaver. Yeah, yeah, but not uh, bare, not bare. Oh, it's yeah, a trim. I understand yeah, yeah, it's that. For trimming and conditioning. It's maybe not maybe all times. You're not supposed to destroy destroy the building. You're not supposed to tear it down. And it's not at all times. Just, just wipe the Sometimes I do. Anyway, it, everybody brings up the same topic. Like, oh, you want to look like a baby? And I'm like, I I do not look like a baby at all. <laughs> but no one. You trying to say it's big dick? Trying to say it's big dick? No, no, no. Man. No, no. I've never seen you naked, so I can't make that. I mean, yeah, you. Yeah. A baby is a foot and a half long. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I'm I an look old like man. Shaquille O'Neal. Sure. Okay, yeah. I whatever. look like an old man. But Shaquille O'Neal no has pubes. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you want pubes? The pubes make your things you better. Got, you gotta have like a little. You gotta have like something. A little, put a hair on it. it Can makes I be it better? transparent <laughs> with you guys? It, yeah, please. Uh, there was a, a few years ago that I got the laser hair removal. Yeah. All right, and one of the. Where did you get it? Ch- uh, in my vagina. Come on, yeah. Tom. <laughs> That's why we're not talking about generals and pubic hair. Like Rama. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, geez, right. I, I don't know. What the, I don't even know what to fucking do anymore. You looked her in her eyes and asked her that. Where did you get it? You're sick, man. You're sick. Where not my mustache, it? obviously. That Where did you get it? <laughs> so, uh, speaking of sips, uh, Homer. Mom. Of the- <laughs> I have no idea what you just said. He's speaking said. of sips. Speaking of Simpsons, Homer mouth. Someone go back to the tape, please, and slow it down. <laughs> All right. Speaking of sips, blah, 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 blah. I was like, what? Uh, I'm sorry. So one of the most challenging things was figuring out what was going to be as far as like my design Heart shape. for the rest of my life. Oh, and so you got a uh, design. because I wasn't going to go fully bare like a psychopath. Yeah, you don't want to take it all off. Like no. and you don't want to do something hyper stylized. Like you don't want to do the Bowie down there. You don't want to do a uh, heart. See, you don't you don't ooh, like, palm tree. Uh, I think you gotta go I went through you, quite a few designs. I think you gotta go big V. <laughs> and then that way you it's harder shave, than you think, man. Then you can go shave at like Turns out there was a GeoCity site that had all different kinds of designs. (laughs) And so I had, uh, you know, the landing strip was obviously a consideration. There was um, like maybe a heart shape. Yeah. Um, Yeah. Mickey Mouse ears, but I did not get the endorsement. What about the bow tie? Uh, Bow tie was a little tough for me. Rigatoni? Um, 
And there was also the Kramer, which would just have been kind of just <laughs> oh. the out, like thin okay. on the sides, but then out together. Oh, oh. I was thinking Steve Kramer again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 kicked down the door fully naked. What about the Frankenstein? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I forgot yeah, about that part. Could you just write the N-word in my kids' place? And they're like, my word, I can't do this endorsement. So I went with what is to be dubbed the torch. And hold on, what's that? So uh, like a not, like, of not like a regular, yeah, not like a regular lighter flame, but consider like one of those electronic ones, something you're lighting cigars with. It's you know, it's powerful. It's it's like um, like the Beauty and the Beast candle guy. Okay, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your dinner is served. Like yeah. uh, and so, hey, well, Luke, I like your pussy hair. Mademoiselle, <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> Um, and it's be easily your best. <laughs> <laughs> or is that no? what? be your best? <laughs> oh, is, is that uh, so you don't mermaid? show your kids be Disney? That's <laughs> fucked up. Oh, 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 <laughs> I thought it was be your best. <laughs> play your best. <laughs> play your best. Play your best. He did say to you, "Goes where did you get it?" <laughs> Be your best. Be your best. <laughs> What's the tour? Uh, doesn't this happen every time Sabrina comes in? Don't you get freaked out? That's why I don't get invited here anymore. No, it's why fun. Why do you perv out when another female gets here? Uh, is he perving you out a little bit? No, it's radio. It's the radio. <laughs> if you're hot, where's She's the AC from radio. Then so it's, it's, it's jumping off. Yeah, it jumps off. I amused you. <laughs> there's like radio. There's a girl here. Holy shit, I'm crying. <laughs> We're talking pubes. I'm crying too, but We're a different time. We're talking pubes. Uh, One of my radio friends is here. We're shaking hands, talking pubes. <laughs> Getting down the brass pube. I can't stop thinking about it. You're fully bare pelvis right you. now. It's no. just a no, naked it's not noodle. Like and that. it is, it and is the in ground. I'm not saying this to be weird. Old men, if old men hear this, if you want to step up the way you look at nudist resorts, just get a little there. Yeah, if you you're have a, to. when you're an old, old elderly man, Tom, you are can't you be still shaving your shaving? Whole... Are you still going bare? To you the can't skin? hurt yourself. <laughs> that's, that's what it actually is. That's that's what what you can't do that. No, no, it's fine. They like the party. You see that old man? They like. You know what they have over there? They have boner patrol, too. <laughs> they have boner patrol? Yep. They have, like, people they hire that are patrol? on their, you know, salary or at least you know, uh, some sort of part-time payment in which they go around, and if any of these dudes have a uh, boner, they say, you have to go back to your trailer until you're ready to come back up. <laughs> <laughs> and behave yourself, I've young found man. my dream job. Yeah. I think this is boner what I was... Boner patrol. Yeah, I just want to drive... Wait, I like... want to be able to yell at old men for having boners. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's two right here. What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, but there's not two. I'm right here, Matt. <laughs> you want to go out to the news resort? <laughs> be your best. We got one week. <laughs> are you asking me? Are you asking me on a date? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That's a joke people get in, in a the couple future. weeks. In the future, Future joke. Just or, okay. By the time this comes out, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 Can't anyway. believe you guys expose yourselves at Just Okay 8. Right. <laughs> Dan got arrested at Just Okay But we just okay did that eight. whole thing where we didn't see your faces yeah. and we're like, which one has pubes and which yeah. one doesn't? Arrest and the little one. Dan. He's, uh, just Okay 2. <laughs> well, you can also tell Daniel's uh, uncircumcised. So, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't know. Oh, I know. So, so it's like uh, having pubes on the and end of your And then we sold penis. the schmegma sh- uh, candle for charity. It does come with that. Although, you know, I am glad that the talking of schmegma is decreased over the last... I feel like just like we did, like, Stop Asian Hate, I think Stop Schmeg Hate, or talking about Schmeg. I, I think heard... Schmeg should be hated. That's you should like not the... have it. It's disgusting. No, exactly. But that's the first person that said... I mean, you might be the first person to ever say Schmeg in this studio. Oh, well, look at me go. So that makes me think, Do that, I the get world, a sign now that, makes me think the world's getting a little bit better because for years I have been, I mean, villainized. People are like, oh, schmeg, you got a schmeg dick, schmeg dick. And I absolutely have never had a schmeg dick. Yeah, yeah because you clean, but a lot of people do. <laughs> <laughs> to be your little daddy schmeg. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And your old man pervert pubes. <laughs> Together we make one. But he really uses the schmeg to smile. Yeah. He styles it. He does like a side part. Where'd you get the wax from my own penis? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry. You get, I know it's wow. so gross, but that's what you guys do, <laughs> Sabrina. That's I have what to, we think it's about a the male genitals. I have to ask. What's your butt? That's why I should have to. <laughs> what are you doing, man? So, I'm sorry. Back to the nudist resort bit, right? Because mm-hmm. it's the quintessential in radio bits. Is uh, you, you know, we've never done it. We go out to the nudist resort. Oh, I've done it back in radio days. Oh yeah, I did it with that too. Yeah, I did it with the monsters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you guys went to the like the sex one though. You did, or did you? No, go? I went to uh, Cy- Cypress Cove. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, I did with, go to with Tuttle and it, Tiffany. It, it, I did go to Hedonism. It wasn't really a bit. I did get fully nude. I walked around yeah, yeah, wearing yeah, yeah, yeah. nothing but water shoes. <laughs> yeah. uh, 
yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so, um, and back when I did it, it was a different time, and uh, and then you could t- be racist in news. Another Tuttle thing. Who was? I don't even know if we were employees of the radio station Tuttle or was, interns. Tuttle was not. Tuttle, Tuttle was a part-time employee, slightly yeah, paid, slightly paid. But I was a part. But Tiffany was. I think we all were part-time employees of the station, and so was Tiffany. And Tuttle got completely nude when we uh, when we showed up. He literally, he's like, well, we were, the bit was we were all going to get nude and ride the damn paddle boats together. And, uh, of course, you know, we wouldn't have to uh, actually get nude. We were just going to pretend. Yeah, but Tuttle's got a big cock. But then Tuttle pulled his entire what? pants out. Oh, and, then, wow. and then we and Tiffany looked at his dick. And then yeah. he, and then he would come, like, it was nude. And then you didn't pull your pants out. <laughs> no, no. Because no, 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 he was fully shaved. And he's yeah. like, these people are going to think what I'm is, an old what man. What does Tuttle's pubes look like? Regular dude. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's got, got regular. Big bush. But is that like bushy, bushy? Yeah, it's, it's the. He's got a hobo bush. <laughs> <laughs> he, he does have that. No, he has that, like, you know what he has? He has the no. young boy bush. Like no. a, a, every young, you'll have Untamed. to deal with this. Where you have to come to your sons and they'll be like peeing, and you'll see they'll have like a massive mega bush. So uh, little boys get mega bushes. Okay. Uh, what or you young say? men? Young men. <laughs> <laughs> Should say young men. <laughs> what did you, I am one. I'm, I'm gonna drive back to the station in complete silence. I did this. I remember thinking one day, looking in the. And the, I was looking at my pubes. I was like, I gotta tame this thing, man. It's huge. So and then something ping, pops right up. <laughs> Did they Damn. try to pressure you to do the bit where you get, get nude? nude. Oh, and yes. uh, then because you know, I did not. Yeah, okay. I did, well, I had a, a nude bra. Oh. And so after we played a pickleball game, it was doubles, and uh, all the other three that were on the court were completely nude. And honestly, that was the only point in my entire experience at Cyprus that I was like, I forgot you guys were naked because we had a good time together. <laughs> you forget then, about it. The next do. morning, I had to be the one editing all the pictures because I, I made myself look like I was topless. Right. But then I had to zoom in to everyone's genitals and blur them out myself. And, so it was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and then uh, they changed the whole system and now that gallery is completely gone. Web hits and bonus is oh also gone. God. God. No! All for nothing. All for nothing. Except for the images in my head. (laughs) I love a good all for nothing. You know, I know it's it's frustrating. But But the PTSD lives. Um, Well, now, luckily, AI could do it for you, but unfortunately... You can't, unless you're, like, in AI world, it, you can't use anything that's slightly uh, salacious, you know? Oh, like, I'm trying, to make a, I'm trying to make a Florida Slam Hog Hunter's Permit sticker. Right. And I, <laughs> As one does. Yeah, yeah. So I downloaded the old Florida Terrorist Hunter sticker, and they don't even like picture of man with gun. They don't like Yeah, but terror- can't you just pay uh, more I'm money? I'm going to, okay, yeah. They yeah. don't like the word terrorist. They don't like any of that. But, like, there w- would be a time where you could feed all those photos in and It'll blur yeah, the vibes. Yeah, really yeah. good old days. Yeah, it's coming. Well, Before we go back to the actual artists who are losing their jobs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's coming for us. Hey, thank you for being here. Thank you so much us. for having me. Thank uh, you, I really, really appreciate it. I'm looking forward to um, hopefully being back here again if we could talk oh, about yeah. something other than pubes? y'all's pubes. pubes? But, yeah, yeah. Maybe, well, we kind of have relegated you to being like our uh, pubes this <laughs> weekend. Our pubes. Our pubes. Our That's fine. Experts. I'll do my yeah. research. You got any stand up gigs coming up? Hell no. She's a busy lady. No, after this, you know. Well, I just need a break, but yeah, um, right. uh, one of these days for sure, and then right. I'll come back on here and we can talk about everyone's genitals again. Well, so of, of course, listen to Sabrina on the News Junkie yeah, yeah, yeah. on her radio, and follow Sabrina on social media on to find every, out everything yeah. she's doing. Every yeah, uh, at Sabrina Ambra. Yeah, um, add her and uh, and support her and support your local radio comedian people and pubes and right. pubes. Mm-hmm. I guess we may see you in a little bit. Today's A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan podcast is brought to you by... We've got a couple events coming up. Uh, the first one is for BDMs only. What are you, using our commercial time to plug <laughs> yeah. our own stuff? Well, I don't want to let everybody know. get to work? If you're a BDM, you probably already know about it because we sent out the invite uh, last week. But if you didn't get the invite, first go to TomandDan.com and check to see if you're a current active BDM member. Yeah, there are a lot of you out there that... <laughs> yeah, you, know, they, you forgot come you... Uh, get you know, in there and... Uh, it laps. But... Uh, Do the, better. This obedient only party is going to be a pool party with a luau show at the end of it. Uh, uh, we know, <laughs> okay, now hold on a second. You Fire know what happens? You know what happened uh, is like now that we've said this, I got an email from people that think we're fucking around. 
No, no, it's Drew. Yeah. Only oh, Drew. yeah. Oh, it's going to, yeah. And then, so bring your bathing suit yeah. because there's a pool there. Yeah, man. We're having and, a yeah. Elvis 74 <laughs> Hawaiian special. Yeah, yeah. So that's for mediums only. That's in April. If you are a medium and you're active and you didn't get the invite or you don't know the information, yeah. like it obviously says on the BDM page. Or sign up but, to be a BDM. But just send us an email saying, uh, I didn't get the information. We'll let you know. Uh, so those are that's for mediums only. That's going to be in April 20th. Then we have have an ACT live uh, radio 10 show. year anniversary yeah. radio show and it's live weird show. weird to say that when we say live yeah. radio show, but I feel like we need to say that, right? Yeah, Should we that's... call it the ACT old timey radio show? <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's going to be broadcast on Terrestrial Radio. Hello, I'm here. Uh, Where's it's, mother? It's going to be at the Ritz Theater uh, at the Wayne Dinge Performing Arts Center Nailed in it. Sanford. And so you can get your tickets at TomandDan.com. Uh, I know some BDM thought it was BDM only. This is open to everybody. Uh, there we st- never said that. There are still tickets left. I defend that. I defend that. That was a dumb person. We never said it was BDM only. So you can get your tickets at the Ritz Theater website or at TomandDan.com. You'll see the ACT 10-year anniversary show. Click on that. It's um, going to be a lot of fun. We're going to hopefully yeah. have some guests there. And it will yeah. be live on Real Radio in our time slot. Yeah. And it's the first time we've ever done that. We're doing an hour stand-up before hosted by Ross, we got Vince Taylor and Ken Miller doing stand up. Still before. can't believe you got two of my favorite comedians. Yeah, yeah. And then we're doing an after party at Tuffy's where Tuffy's got a, yeah. a live band for us, and uh, we're gonna. And you know, there's be, a water park and a go kart track, <laughs> yeah. and just yeah. kind of tickets private, are ten bucks. Private so. island. Um, and then, uh, of course, I know this first segment we have Crystal in Crystal Van, one half member of the Bart Mayer team. If you're looking to buy or sell, the house, hottest. Yeah. <laughs> You can go I to, can say that right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think she's Bart the will hottest it, yeah. half. She is. Uh, BartTheRealtor.com. Here we go. We're going to do the show. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, you're a Here we go. We're going to do the show. Here we go. I don't know why. We're going to do the show. Here we Hop, a hip and a hip and a hip and a hop and you don't stop. We're doing the show right now and you don't stop. Tom Bryan, Tom and Tom and Bryan. Damn it. Welcome back to A Mediocre Time. Let's do some voicemails. Yes, sir. The spoken word that people yell into their phones. Here's a fun fact. Most people leave us voicemail messages using our app. About 75% are from the app. About 25% are from our vanity number, 1-844-T-O-M-N-D-A-N. There you go. Um, Let's try, and all my glasses on, let's try this one right here. We have weird listeners. Hey, gang. BDM here. I'm going to leave my name out just because this is Uh a fucking weird thought that I had. Uh Sitting here watching the Axiom 3 mission shoot-off, and part of me kind of wanted it to turn out like the submarine implosion and something terribly go wrong. Anyway, I'm a terrible person. (laughs) Bye. Why would you leave that? Why would you leave that message? Well, he's saying what other people do feel. Where anytime you're watching something, like you, I've you're, never wished it. I like I'm on. Unlo- then I'm not like that guy. You don't I've wish. Never watched a NASCAR race. But you're like, I've what if it wa- happened? I've done a what if. Now that's different. That's not what he said. Part of me yeah. wanted it. He. I thought he said part of me want wanted it to turn out like the submarine. Which, again, if we're going to talk about, if we're just going to rewind the submarine for a second, all of the people are like, dang, God, what they deserved. Um, there was a child on that thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are animals. They didn't des- why did they deserve that? <laughs> no, but I've heard. No, I know. People were mad. People kind of yeah. took the, you know, we didn't talk yeah. a lot about it because it's freaking ter- fucking terrifying, dude. It's yeah. scary. And, like, I, like, I've like i never. People get mad. First, people get mad at rich people. And if rich people do something dangerous and then die in yeah, a tragic that's what accident. You get. Yeah, <laughs> people, I don't it's know like, why that. Don't, I don't say, say that. Say that. Yeah. Holy smoke. Like, like, uh, what, you know, is that what they came to? <laughs> I didn't know that. I mean, uh, I don't all think they, they w- deserve it. I think they're assholes, but I don't know if they deserve it. They that. just wanted to see the Titanic yeah. water all I needed die. To hear, look, we're not going to talk about this long, but all I needed to hear was the one lady where she was talking about how scared the kid was, but he just wanted to spend time with his dad. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, what the what hell? are you, a maniac? Okay. Um, uh, I d- I've oh. never looked at that and thought that. 
Maybe a little bit NASCAR. I said never, but maybe a little bit. But just an accident, not a death. Are you crazy? Well, it's like when you do a stunt. And uh, I don't know if you know this, but I'm familiar with uh, uh, doing stunts. I, uh, I'm, <laughs> I, I, too, am familiar, but always a bridesmaid, <laughs> never a bride. I was always setting up the boxes. But people want to see you crash. They don't want to see you make it. I never wanted to see you crash. <laughs> like, like evil I Knievel. never wanted to see you crash. I have I, honestly, I never but, wanted to see you crash. In fact, I was probably the I t- tried to talk you out of stunts before. I called your wife one night and tried to talk you out of the ceiling of the old Amway Center. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I said yeah, that yeah, Bush, yeah. Bushy was in your head, filling your head full of puppy dog <laughs> tails and snails, and you were all over the place. I'm like, this man is going to lead him down a dangerous yeah. path. I'm just saying, the strangers in the crowd. You're just sitting there, your arms are crossed. I've been a like, stranger in a crowd, and I've never wished that. I hope he ragdolls off his book. <laughs> I've never said that. And he breaks every bone in his I body. I've never said that. And his wife has to wipe his ass. <laughs> People right. think, no. They, but then when it happens, they're like, mo- oh. Then they think they cause it. They're like, oh, my God. I have powers. <laughs> are more people think? Are, do, are more people like you say, are saying the arms cross? I want Grave Digger. To, I want his brains to fly out of Grave no, Digger. You, or are more people like, uh, I'm good with it just doing what it normally does? I don't even think they want people to crash or they want people to explain. They don't want the whatever. crash. They don't want the it's death. It's just no. When it goes well and nothing happens, they're a little disappointed. And, oh, well, and that's, then, that's 100% but then, but then, I love then, it when things go wrong. I just don't want people to die. But then they question why they're a little disappointed, and then they think that, like this gentleman that they are crazy yeah. and they wanted it. Like they're like if they're disappointed that things went right, yeah. did they they think to themselves, did I want things to go wrong? And then they start fucking with them. That's what oh, this. Man, that's what we, yeah. Because of why was, are you disappointed? You, I, I you should have wanted was, things. I was to watching go a video there on qualified ca- uh, captain. Yeah, yeah. there was a video on qualified captain. Which I'm sorry, I yeah. don't know why that's in my algorithm so much. Yeah. And it was the lady, the black lady, who's riding on the the speedboat yeah, the, tour boat, the Holliver. Oh, the, and she's, oh, and she's the filming herself, boat. and her titties are bouncing up and down, and she got big old mega titties. And then another boat smashes her face. Yeah, oh, I yeah. didn't expect that. I threw my phone across the room. Yeah, yeah. Another boat uh, literally ran over the oh, tour boat. Oh, no one died though. Nobody died. Yeah, that's yeah, why they lots released the of people hurt. Oh, chopped up good, <laughs> chopped up, there you go, like chopped that. up good. <laughs> Um, I imagine that I'm that other boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's what I was imagining too. <laughs> and I'm on there with because you. I'm over there with. You. I'm like, look at that black lady's got her titties out. Whoa! Here's the problem with boats: is that um, you feel comfortable <laughs> enough. There's to, no brakes on them, dude. To while you're going full speed, to start looking around, you pick up your beer yeah. that's spilled. Yeah. Like, like you will put your head yeah, down. My and Tesla will not let me do that. I cannot. <laughs> I can't even look at the radio anymore in my car. Like, I look to the the radio. If I look to the radio in my Tesla, Tesla, the car stops. It's like, ah, meh, meh, meh. especially in the ocean, you're just full speed. You're yeah. like, it's just, you feel like you could just you're go, free. you can go drink uh, in the back. You can, yeah. you can look at, you know, it's like, you know, it's flying, it doesn't you're matter. flying on the water. And, but then what happens is you do that enough where you become comfortable with enough. So you look up yeah, to a door, so you know you're running over a tour boat <laughs> with a bunch of children on it and yeah, moms yeah. on there with yeah. like out there yeah. with the DV to the P. And then as soon as it hits and then you realize you're going over the top of the tour, well, the they tourists, did the move. They they did the move in the video. You're like, the oh, worst. I'm going to jail. The reason I felt so bad, oh. I did feel better once I realized nobody died. Yeah, yeah. Because they did put that in the, the the description. But they did that move where as soon as the other boat, they do this in commercials now, too. you got to stop doing this because it's worse. It's like when you beep a curse word, you make it sound like cunt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like you make everything yeah, sound yeah, yeah. like cunt. And don't, he just said just piss. Stop. <laughs> He's going to stop doing that. He so said what piss. They did, so what they did is the boat's going. So they waited till the boat is like on the black lady's head, smushing her head, and then they freeze it. And I'm like, well, no, <laughs> just let the boat fly over her. Don't keep her suspended. But that too fast. They're like, look at this boat. No, they want you to see it. They're crushing like, her. Yeah, they're like, look at this. And it's like the, the thumbnail. I'm like, don't do yeah. that. Just let the video play through. Poor lady. And then when if you're the captain of the other boat and you've just run over a tour boat, what do you do? Uh, well, first I, go, I gun it and I get the fuck out of there. You're right? shaking hands. <laughs> you're holding yeah, your shaking. No, no. If you run, you I mean, you're definitely going to jail. Well, for, you can't stay uh, there. Yeah, you can't stay there. No, you have to stay. And you then, have to take the flare gun, stick it in your mouth, and pull it. You have to kill yourself. <laughs> so you have to show yeah, everyone. Yeah, you have to burn burn. yourself alive in front of. That's the only way to fix it. <laughs> then the other people, like the other family members that are on site, would look around. They'd be like, "Well, normally we'd be mad, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, but he <laughs> spontaneously flared himself. He flared himself to death on his own boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's an even trick." For punishment. That's your punishment. Yeah, 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 yeah. If it, more people did punish themselves proactively, would we be better humans? 
Oh, you save a lot of yeah. money. Like in society. You, you and... run this black lady and her family over. There, I mean, it's a bloodbath. The people everywhere. You take out the flare gun. Boom! Immediately kill yourself. I yeah, yeah. do. The police show up and go. Yeah, I'll just do a little bit of paperwork. I'll get you all home by six. <laughs> he, <laughs> you know, like, he already took care of it. <laughs> yeah, uh, I know what you're all thinking. Is, uh, he's yeah. a, yes, he was a piece of shit, <laughs> but we don't have to worry about it anymore. We can all sit here. I'll fill out this paperwork where I smell his fat burn. <laughs> it was probably just a horrible mistake, and he was terrified of going to kill him. So <laughs> I, probably checking his phone, but his carpal tunnel hands. He dropped his phone, and that's yeah. why he drove over yeah. your family. It's but he's a, dead now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's real sad. <laughs> <laughs> because all right. uh, anyway, all right. yeah, I think that right. I think that's Next voice, man. <laughs> all right, yeah. <laughs> we, I think we, let me delete that. What? Uh, uh, wait, uh, let's try. Okay, this one made me mad because this. Okay, this one just makes me mad. This guy means well. He's a good man. Just right. listen to it. But this one makes me mad. Hey guys, I'm a BDM and a plumber. Also, with disposers, you can put pretty much whatever you want down it, other than like chicken bones and real hard stuff. I put shrimp peels, eggshells. Um, Those are the first two things that Andrea has told me not <laughs> to put down the garbage disposal. Hey. Shrimp peels, which my daughter is addicted to shrimp. Just treat it. It's all she eats. Which is like, thanks for picking the most expensive fucking food to eat. Also, the- She wants prawn. She's like, oh, what are the big ones? I'm like, oh, my God. She's also showing you she's tougher than you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she can eat shrimp. Yeah. Yeah. My body rejects shrimp. I wasn't uh. going to bring it up. Uh, and then, yeah, and eggshells. Andrea says you can't put eggshells down there. Some people tell me eggshells sharpen the blades. Some people, it ruins the garbage disposal. <laughs> well, it can't be both. It says it on the garbage disposal, like, directions and box, do not put eggshells down there. Uh, so it's not yeah, an urban I, legend or anything. It says ask, it. Let me tell you something. My favorite appliance right now in my kitchen, it is used every single day by me, Andrea Maisie. We bought a Vitamix. We bought a badass Vitamix. Okay. It's like a $600 blender. And this motherfucker goes. Yeah. Like it, and, and it, you can blend anything you want. Why don't we just put a Vitamix in the garbage disposal? Yeah, you, then it would just chop up everything. That, why? Garbage disposals don't work. The Vitamix does. I can mix anything I want in there. Yeah, bones. You can put yeah, bones in there. I can put anything. I can put my cell phone in there. Well, it probably just expense. Like, that Vitamix mix was 600 bucks, and uh, the garbage disposal yeah. is, what, 90 bucks. Yeah, he continues. <laughs> yeah. He continues. The secret is to stop the uh, disposer before you use it and fill the sink up with uh, quite a bit of water, a couple inches, and then use it to like have the water help flush it down so have you ever heard that have you ever heard that okay what you do is you put the stuff that you want to blend in in the disposal then you plug it then you fill up your sink with water then you unplug it let the water go down turn it on and all that water pushes the all the debris pushes pushes it down (laughs) have you ever heard that I have not. But, Me neither. Um, but yeah. I do the move where I p- turn the sink on, and then Me too. And, and then the sink's just going in there. Me too. Same, same. But if I'm if I'm like being honest, I like to run it dry. I like everything dry. Something like uh, I'll, the fork will be down there, or a baby spoon, <laughs> yeah. and then I'll turn the disposal yeah. off. Then I'll stick my hand in there. Oh, I and like then that. I'll, I'll fill. It's I'll, the closest the dentist has <laughs> ever gets to danger is to put our hands in the disposal when it's turned off. I feel, I feel alive a bunch of slimy blades. Yeah, <laughs> slimy blades. And then I think I'm the bear grills of slimy blades. I'm always down in there. And then I'm like, man, this would hurt if these slimy blades went off. Yeah, uh, and chop my fingers. Have crazy. you ever uh, pretended like you turned it on and screamed to make your daughter cry? <laughs> <laughs> I have not done that yeah, yet. Yeah, me neither. But it's uh, on the list. I think it's on the list. You pull out a fake ketchup. bloody stump. You pull up a ketchup. <laughs> yeah! yeah! And you're like, Daddy, will never be the same. <laughs> okay. Call your mom. Call your mom. That's what I... If I really wanted to get her, I already know how to do the freak out. You can't go like, yeah, because that's not realistic. You have to go, call, call your mom. Call your mom. Call your mom. Call your mom. And then I swear to God, I would bet you shit, oh, she shit her pants. <laughs> it would ruin our relationship. <laughs> It would ruin our relationship, dude. Like, she is... Would she laugh after? No! Just a joke. She doesn't laugh at anything I do. uh, Maisie hasn't laughed in six six years. She laughed when she was a one-year-old baby. Like, oh, oh, God, I laugh. But everything else has been dead serious. Get to work. Yeah. She's got I like that, that. She's got that Putin mentality. That's what she wants. What she, wants. she wants her theme for a birthday party this year. Putin. <laughs> no, I made that up. That's not true. That's a secret. A lot of water. <laughs> like dress her up like Putin. 
<laughs> you put the shirt off yeah. on a horse. Yeah, she's like, you the bring cake. out the horse. Yeah, the cake. Is and people are like, special. oh my god! Yeah. I like why the, the banners says, welcome to our special operation. You know, like when people are coming. In. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, but anyway, I, that was a good one. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Okay. Now this one is specifically chosen for you. Okay. Because like, have you noticed? I'm going through the voicemails a little more, like a little, spending a little more time. Right. Just right. a little more time. This one's for you. And I think you're gonna like this. one. Hey, so uh, you guys always have Seth on the show, and he's always telling these crazy stories. And I always thought maybe he was exaggerating or just, like, doing it for the show. Um, But I had this client come in. uh, I'm a barber. I cut hair. And he came in, and um, he had these, like, cauliflower ears. So uh, I asked him, like, hey, do you do wrestling or MMA? And... That's bold. Um, That's bold. And he actually fought in like Russia pro for a little bit. Oh, you can come to Macy's birthday and party. And some fights over here too in the UFC. And so I asked him about the jungle and he's like, Oh yeah, I know the jungle and um he's like, Do you know Seth? And I'm like, No, I don't know Seth, but I listen to this podcast, he's always telling these crazy ass stories. What do you think happened? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think happened? Well, I know what happened because this happens to me when sometimes people see me going through an orb and they're like, oh my God, <laughs> they're like, they can't believe yeah. that it's real. Yeah, yeah. Like a and lot of people don't believe in your orbs. <laughs> yeah, and they, and they don't believe that Seth It's the really number one question is, I get. I, I basically went from, is Savannah that dumb to, does Tom really do those <laughs> things? Like, seriously. Like, honestly, people don't believe that you do all of the tales. Uh, Okay, here we go. uh, And so he's like, yeah, man, Seth's a great guy. He's awesome. He's super cool. Um, He does do some crazy shit. He's like, one time I went to a party, and he shit in this plastic bag. (laughs) And he started passing it out to, like, to everyone. He started passing it around. And I'm just like, oh my god, I can't believe this is serious. So. Around, around. Okay, this is this is the second. Guy. This guy doesn't you even shit know. Something. And the guy, the Russian guy, was like, so one time uh, you shit in bag, and he starts passing bag around. You know, he's like, hey, this is shit the bag. Yeah, squirt it. You want to feel warm? Here you go. Oh, I shit the bag. Was it? I don't know. I don't know. Around. Was it a Win Dixie plastic bag? I don't know. I, I envisioned like, a Walmart hey, pass bag. Pass it along. <laughs> I envisioned a Walmart. Walmart bag. Oh, you want a little more? Someone handed me a <laughs> shit bag. I'm not gonna he's just like, keep passing it around like it's a to beer everyone, and a baseball he started game. Passing it around, and I'm just like, oh my god, I can't believe this is serious. So, I guess uh, his stories are actually true. Yeah, and, they are. Uh, if uh, Tom, if you went to that Halloween party this past weekend, um, Could've. I hope he wasn't passing shit around. <laughs> <laughs> but, Anyway, love you guys. Well, love you too, but I didn't go. Good barbering. But if I did go, <laughs> I, although Seth says he's calmed down and, uh, and, and you oh know, now he's a God. dad. And did stuff you like see that. his post yesterday w- w- that was oh, yeah. like, "Life is so lovely with the two of you." Yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah, he yeah. had both of his. He eyes. turned into corny <laughs> oh, nerd dad. So corny, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, the days of shitting in a bag are over. Although I'll get him to shit in a bag one more time for just to, oh, yeah, to yeah. prove he still got it. And I then, mean, until his daughter gets old enough to know about shit in a bag i think you've got some time and here's the thing about uh like not believing in the characters of this show uh ask yourself either it's real or these people are the best actors in the world (laughs) (laughs) and guess what we're not the best actors in the world uh hence why we are an orlando podcast (laughs) yeah exactly (laughs) if we were we would be way more successful uh i heard i saw a tiktok video of seinfeld Mm. uh and he was seinfeld was like talking i don't know like it was some interview and he was saying that uh people often ask him how he he, like how he did such a good job acting like he was in, in love or liked uh um uh julia louise dreyfus's character elaine right because in throughout the whole series sure. there's always kind of like a love interest yeah, a little especially bit. the beginning you know whatever yeah. and uh, he said he's like listen I'm not a, that good of an actor 
She is one of the most beautiful and talented women I've ever known. I really liked her. <laughs> you know, oh, like, wow. I was like, for her. He's, is yeah, that what he's, saying? yeah, he was like, she's smart, funny, and beautiful. I, so it's not hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, what you that's were, also a great compliment. This guy's smooth. Yeah, yeah Jerry yeah, yeah. fucks but, is what I heard. But he's also probably telling the truth. Like, oh, he's, he's definitely a, telling the yeah, truth. But that is real. a very smooth way, <laughs> yeah. right? That's a nice way. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, Juliet Louise Dreyfus reads that, or Julia rather. Yeah, yeah. And like she reads that, and then she's like, "Oh, of that's course, a very yeah. nice thing." And whether he's saying that for real or not, but like, yes, it's easy for you to like her, Elaine. You know, because she is a beautiful, smart, talented person that you're in the same room with. For sure. So it's not that difficult to act like you like her, right? Yeah. And so true. I always found her to be very attractive. So all of Seth's stories, all of my stories, whatever they they're true. You know what I'm saying? Like, we may tell them in an over-the-top manner, but uh, there's no acting, there's no lying about it. No. It's impossible. No. Like, <laughs> Not that fact, talented. I, I mean, like, no, I, I don't think there's much of any, like, if anything, we would have to downplay things because I'm like, oh, we can't. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm yeah. like, don't talk about that. Like, oh, yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, Put that away, you know? Also, like, no one will believe this. Yeah. Oh, right. no. Um, Let's try this one. I might have to pull up Spotify. Hey, guys. So... During the day, I like to listen to, um, you know, you guys' podcast, Rogan, and if I feel the need for some music, I normally put on some 90s, um, like, roller rink, you know, uh, playlist. 90s <laughs> roller rink playlist? You got me. Dude. I thought you were going to put on Taco Bob Pat Lynch. I thought you were going to put on some non-point. <laughs> 90s roller rink, Seven run. Dust. I thought you were going to put that on. Oh, weird. I thought you were going to put on Tom's favorite uh, that he calls uh, Burn All the Witches. What's the song? Like, it's, it's Dragula by Rob Zombie, but you've been calling it what? Burn All the Witches? Oh, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Well, the song came on Too Close by Next, the band Next. And I've heard it a million times and, and everything like that. But hearing it now... Wow, it's a gross song, and the backup singers talk about you know, you back up, you're poking me, and it it's all about boners. And I had no idea as a kid that that's what the song was about. So no, it's, don't it know is. if you want to give it a listen or not, but or if you just remember that it's about boners. <laughs> yeah, I did not know that the song "Too Close" by Next is about boners, but I can pull it up real fast. All right, "Too Close," Next. All right, here it is. Still stumped by the fact that you're picking 90s skating rink music, but I like it. My wife would like it. She listens to a lot of 90s skating rink music. All right, here we go. Too Close by Next. I wonder if she could tell I'm hard right now. Okay. <laughs> it just uh, starts off. I didn't, I didn't expect that. Did you expect that? <laughs> Is that the whole song? <laughs> I wonder if she could tell I'm hard right now. <laughs> that should be the whole song. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, we'll continue. Yeah, come on. Dance for me, baby. I remember that. Yeah. Uh oh, you feel like? All right. Come on. Don't stop now. This is a good ass song. Come on. Uh, you don't know yeah. this song, do you? No. All right. Here's the part you might know. So oh, yeah, okay, I know the song. Oh, yeah, I know the I never knew that was about boners. You're making it hard for me. Oh my god! Yeah. I, I I am with this yeah. man. You missed I, the beginning when he says uh, this. Uh, the song's about boners. <laughs> <laughs> In the beginning, he's like, "I'm gonna write a song about my penis." <laughs> oh, that was good. Well done. So I had this friend that used to go to Mako's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. Right, I never let, told the you, story. You know, I I'll let you have this. Right, I'll let you, you're not talking about yourself. No, no, no. Okay. It was a friend. I'll let you have. This. And he used to be there uh, every Saturday. <laughs> yeah. And then um, <laughs> I, this friend, didn't know yeah. ever know anything about girls. Uh, As a nerd. Well, knowing how to like one of those uh, back their ass up. And then uh, manipulate your boner. Around, <laughs> twist it, twist it or twirl it. Oh, yeah. I, 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 use so, their cheeks to twirl so, your boner. Yeah, okay. yeah. Did you use, know about this? 
Oh, I I went to club. I yeah, went, yeah. I when I originally went to my first bachelor party but, and I went to House of Babes, which everyone scared me by calling it House of AIDS. <laughs> thanks a lot. It was the '90s. You guys are scared the shit out of me. I'm like, I don't want to get AIDS from a stripper just sitting on me, but I do want to have a stripper. So you know what I mean? Like I was so horny. Oh, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. well, maybe I'll try AIDS. <laughs> like I don't know. I don't know anything yeah, about yeah. it. So I go to I go there, and the girl does the move where she reached in my pants and pushed my bone. It's why to this day I'm an up man. I run my boner straight up. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, And the reason that I'm an up boner, man, is because when I was 19, a stripper reached in my pants and pon- pointed my boner up, and <laughs> it was that day that I knew I was an up man. So, Uptown boy, is that, what they call me. That can be achieved just by a dancer Using butt. their ass cheek. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they, they can figure out a way... Yeah. While they're dancing, it's like a dog pushing a stick with its nose <laughs> to move your boat around, <laughs> yeah. and it's a, yeah. like, and that is a skill that I didn't even know existed. Yeah, yeah, and it's especially easy if what your boat is pointing straight <laughs> up. If you're bo- if it's yeah. straight up, you got a windshield wiper to the, left, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. Yeah, yeah. and then the girls on the dance floor will. Like uh, back there, yeah, ass yeah, 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 and then yeah. a booty dancer boner. Yeah. Around, and put, I didn't think that was a the thing. Crack, they put the crack on your boner. <laughs> it's the hot dog bun. I yeah, do it with my yeah. wife. I call it the hot dog bun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I like my wife's naked ass to back into me, and then I yeah. put my penis between her ass cheek. It's not sexual. <laughs> it's just laying there. Yeah, yeah. And then that's a they. That's it's a just dance. comfy. Yeah, it's just comfy. Yeah, I yeah. just like it. I'm saying, there's a friend back in the early 2000s. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Certainly wasn't you. And there's a dance floor. It's full of dance. You know. There's a lot of people your wife's at home, or she's the footlocker <laughs> working real hard, and you're there getting yeah, your boner moving smoking. around. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, All right, um, you want another one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see what we got here. Let's try this one right here. Oh, hold on. There we go. Uh-oh. Try it again. <laughs> what, 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 what was that? <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> yeah, was this, that's our. That is our most shy BDM here. Here he is again. Try it again. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. I'm gonna try it again. Uh, Sorry about that. Yeah, uh, we'll go. We'll, well go. when you use the app, um, you record the message and it will auto send. If you don't, right? If you, when you press record yeah. and let it go, it just, it, it, uh, will curate the email for you. And then if you don't know any better, you'll hit send. By exactly. Here. Let's try this one. Hey guys, BDM Captain Dano checking in. And it is true when my fiance or my daughter stick their finger in my belly button, I get a stinger on the tip of my dinger. Over and out. Had a lot of people reply to this one too. Apparently, if you put your finger in your belly button and you push it, yeah, 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 you can feel it on the tip of your penis. Now I don't have that. It's like cilantro flavor. You know, <laughs> some people taste <laughs> yeah, soap. Genetic. Some people taste it tastes good. Crystal can't handle anybody putting her fing- their finger in her belly button. Like it hurts. I her. don't like it either. Yeah, I'm, yeah, w- yeah. I'm with her. Like if Andrea, it does doesn't it, matter to me. Yeah. I'm one of those people where if you are a listener and you do it to me, you may run the risk of me yelling at you because <laughs> it hurts. Like uh, like I've done it before where people are just what does it hurt? Like, hey, look, it's the doughboy, or uh, and they like get me. And they poke. Or even right now, I just did it and it made me feel weird. I can jab anything hard? in my belly. Yeah, you jab it hard. It doesn't. Oh. I feel nothing. No, I don't like what, it. Well, I know that, but I'm talking. About- <laughs> no, no, but. I'm my belly button like you know there's there's no like pain i think mine's anything. still uh healing i could stretch it pull it out no like, you know, oh god sides. you're making me sick to my stomach gape it all over <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i have a deep boy uh, yeah, yeah, yeah i have a deep boy uh, i have a well yeah, of, yeah. Uh, belly button i feel like most uh, middle-aged men have a deep boy you know it that happens because all the duke that petrifies in your belly some people get it removed or smoothed out that's a thing now that kids are doing well, when you have to take all the extra skin, no, they'll just smooth out their belly button. Gastro bypass, huh? Oh, they will. Yeah, they'll smooth it out. For what reason? Just because they don't <laughs> like having the hole. Yeah, all right, they just want it to look. You know, <laughs> that's like, weirder though. Yeah, like, like to have we, just. There nothing. are a lot of those. You know what I've been obsessed with lately on uh, Reddit are the people that have removed their nose to look like an alien person. There's a bunch of them. <laughs> oh, I thought there was just one, but there's not. Yeah, there's yeah. a bunch of them. There's like, well, a bunch. I mean, there's like eleven. Yeah, yeah, that's a but lot. But that's a yeah, lot, yeah. I feel like. And they remove their entire nose and they just have like the skull holes. Yeah. And oh for some God. reason, I am obsessed, dude. Just <laughs> like the Reddit where I'm watching, I'm looking at the, the 
the the stains of where people have died and oozed into the wood. I, I'm obsessed with that, <laughs> okay, but, and I'm obsessed with. Well, alien, that's a crazy person. I'm obsessed with alien nose people because I like to see. You know where I like to see them? I like to see them doing normal things. Like I like to see alien nose man like sitting at. Like yeah, Sears, I mean, waiting for his tires to be rotated. You know, like, I like yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You should become the Enigma because that'll help the show. Well, remove my nose. Well, oh, just, we did a crane. Hey, yeah. hey, take the power away. No, I'm just saying, like, you know, tattoo your whole body. No, like Andrew the won't let puzzle me do man. It. I can't even get a neck bu- uh, tattoo. Get some horns. Get Andrew some, will uh, not let me get a neck tattoo. I don't want a horn. Sharpen your teeth. I don't want a like horn. A no, I don't need anything to look more like uh, I'll look like yeah, a but, tiny devil man. Yeah, but think about how popular I would our look podcast. like Pan. I would look like a real <laughs> yeah, life Pan. Oh, we can get you goat legs. <laughs> like uh, no, all the hair blew out of my gas. <laughs> I'm, I'm no, like, but we get hair. G Pan. We'll get hair. Transplants onto your legs. We don't have a hair transplant. Yeah, but we'll get it. Anymore. No, no, no. But we'll. I mean, we'll have to fly you to Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> Brazil. Well, if we're it. going to Brazil, I want the leg. Like they can like oh. chip my bones away and make my legs longer. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll get you a big pan ass too. <laughs> oh, I want one of those. A big goat leg ass. I don't. How do those heal? Do you know there's a porn star? There's a porn star that's Orlando born uh-huh. that I follow. That I'm just you know because you know I'm horny, and she. Went to Brazil and got the thing. BBL? Yeah, got the BBL. And it does not, it is not, she's really young. And I was like, oh my God, what did you do? It looks like. Weird. It looks weird. Uh, yeah, 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 it doesn't look like, like I like. Got it, it too big. It's unnatural. It's I would weird, rather it just be flat. Yeah, you know, if uh, you can, I mean, it's the same thing with the mega boobs. Uh, at a certain point, it becomes so novelty yeah. that it's like, oh, why'd you do that to yourself? Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. You know, but back to the alien nose people and stuff, like, people like uh, modifying their bodies they do. to an extreme, you know? But it's not as fun to look at the fake me- mega boob girl get her tires rotated. <laughs> I feel like the alien guy edges her out. All right, let's try this one. This one's from. Um, Concrete Mike. I don't think we've done this one before. Okay. But man, it just, this guy, if he were throwing darts, <laughs> bullseye. What's going on, TND Media? It's Concrete Mike. So I'm on a new job site over here in South End of Winter Garden. And uh, GC was looking at all the stickers and decals and magnets on my truck. He asked me, he says, uh, what's that BDM stand for? Is that Black Dicks Matter? No. <laughs> There's more. I just wanted to pause it there for a fact. All right, all right. I'm giving the lizards more of an experience these days. Oh, this is more oh. of an experience these days. Man, I fucking died laughing. Oh, my God. It was so funny. I cracked up and I had to go in and explain a story of what it is. All right, guys. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, you watch Gather around. Gather around. Gather everybody in. Everybody in. Huddle love. Hands in. Team on three. It's not black dicks. <laughs> Uh, how, how it came around, but it kind of is. <laughs> it kind hold on. <laughs> well, it, it kind of well, they can be part of yeah, it. I mean, yeah. we do. They're bi- there are black. Yeah, 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 yeah. The big ones usually <laughs> skew that way. He asked about the Tom and Dan sticker I had on the truck and uh, told the backstory of uh, the radio days, and he remembered y'all because uh, he's like, yeah, just, so Tom's drunky to bear, and I laughed and laughed again. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I told him, said, yep, Dan is Daniel Dennis, the producer guy that was Dennis, on the Monsters, Dennis. and I uh, said, Tom's a little drunky. Oh, I, that? I love um, those guys. I used to love listening to them. Well, they, they do a show like, nah. nah it's not the same. <laughs> now that I know they're the black dick guys, I don't know. Oh, drunky I they're, they're, oh, drunky they're, they're my two favorite yeah. uh, members of the show. I, 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 man, they, oh, they, I, didn't, I don't listen anymore since they left. Well, you can listen to them now. No, 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 black dick. <laughs> <laughs> they do a show together. Nah, 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 nah. I don't know. Uh, it's, exactly. a, it's right there on your phone. Uh, you should <laughs> nah, take your phone out. They have an app. They have an app. Instant. They play, and you could, and they're uncensored. No, 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 no. It's not. Not the same. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could have liked us that much. You want one more? Yeah, yeah. One um, more. All right, one more here. Let's do. Let's try the dump them out one. Hey guys, yeah, some guy called last week and said he didn't like to dump them out or drop them out. <laughs> but uh yeah i was calling to say screw that guy i love that song i love when y'all play the song before the segment and the only weird part is there's this guy in the background going everybody 
And I don't know who that voice is. I don't hear him on the show. Can you tell me who that person is? That's me. <laughs> I'm the problem. It's me. I've been, I'm, the, I'm every voice. I'm on most songs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dana will be in here like a crazy person. <laughs> yeah, jumping around. Re- recording the, all different, <laughs> oh, like, yeah. with himself singing the same part over as a and over woman. to have a yeah. chorus of himself. Yeah, yeah. I'll sing as a woman. I'll yeah. be like, don't, 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 him out. don't, 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 all the stereotypes. Here's the, uh, I guess, the untold uh, secret uh, about the show segments that, you know, we talk about, like, oh, who the, the interviews, no one likes them. But then people are like, well, I like them. Yeah. Like, there's, it's all subjective. Everybody likes something different. To yeah. the, and then you'll like something and someone else will hate it. And that person will hate that you'll like it. So no matter what we 100%. say, someone else will say, well, I like it or I hate that. Yeah. Except for making fun of EJ. <laughs> <laughs> no one's ever told us to stop. Everybody likes it. True. <laughs> Everybody likes yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, Nobody's ever said like, hey, ease up on the thing. <laughs> never, you know, never. I don't think that'll ever happen. Uh, let's try this one. Hey, y'all. Um, this is Crystal. I've one of the crystals. I don't know how you differentiate me from the other ones, but it's fine. Um, anyway, I was calling about cameras. So I was listening on Twitch and you were talking about cameras inside the house. And so I need you to tell me if I'm a creeper, I guess, because I do have cameras in my house. Um, but I only have three and they're all in common areas and I shut them off when I have people over. Um, so one is the one is in my. Well, that's the creepy part. <laughs> yeah. right? What are they like, for? Yeah, if you shut them off when people come over, I'd be like, "Is that so you can kill me?" Like what? <laughs> room, and one is in, Hold on. um. So one is the one is in my cat's room, and one is in the living room, and I have another one in the dining room. So, and like I said, when I have people over, I will tell. I'll turn them off before they get there and let them know. Um, hey, just to let you know, I have cameras, but I have them turned off right now. And Don't even say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That just, makes it weirder. Yeah, yeah. That's like if you come but, over to somebody's house and they're like, just so you know, I have a lot of guns, but they're all unloaded while you're here. <laughs> I'd be like, what the fuck? Uh, also, I don't believe they're turned off. <laughs> <laughs> they, well, I want to know where they are, and I want to see you turn yeah, them off. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. have to see you turn them off. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, you know, you, why are you telling me this? <laughs> <laughs> That's you know, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah like, uh, yeah, because uh, they, they can you see them up in their corner? But I get the cat one i'm a pet person i get it you want to see what your cat's doing while you're gone especially cat people i'm not a cat person but i hear tell that cat people like to see their cats when they're gone i know it makes you mad i know (laughs) oh is that your body rejecting cat people (laughs) what are they doing that is interesting I've seen cats. It's they, comforting to people to see that their animal's still alive. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, they're always alive, right? No, like no. I, they're like, you know, I no, mean, not always. I mean, how many I pe- know. You're, you're, you're just you're not going <laughs> to understand it. You're not going to get it. Uh, you're like, look at them. Yeah. Nobody seemed, like, creeped out by it outwardly, but um, I don't know. I've just been having a lot more friends over lately, and I just don't want to seem like that that weirdo. Um, so let me know what I should do because I'm single and ready to mingle and I don't want to scare people off just because I have a couple of cameras to watch my animals. Told okay, you. Bye. I wow. knew it. Nailed it. I, I'm the cat lady now. <clears throat> well, there was an episode of The Office where Angela, which is also a cat person, oh, who represents on. the stereotypical cat yeah, people. Yeah, she really did. Which does you no justice because uh, I'm lumping you in with Angela. Yeah, it was office. a horrible character. And uh, she also had a cat cam that she used to just watch her cats at work. And they wrote this into the story because it's so absurd. <laughs> yeah, they did. They did. <laughs> that You're it's right. an absurd character. Yeah. See, so, like, so if you have anything in common with all the office characters, yeah. then you are uh, crazy <laughs> yeah, yeah. because they're meant to be absurd characters Correct. from a crazy show. And that's show. coming from Michael Scott. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you're anything like any yeah. of these people, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, people are all laughing. And at I'm you. Stanley. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone knows that. Um, so she has the cameras just to watch I, I cats say, at work. I, I say the way you should have handled it. If we're going to do like hints from Heloise or Ann Landers or something, here's what I would do. It's your house. 
You're running cameras. We run cameras in here. I don't even know why we run cameras in here, but I damn sure don't tell anybody about them because it's not their business. They're my cameras. If you want to come to my house, you accept me for who I am. I'm not going to tell you one word about them. No, but there's a reason we have uh, security cameras for security. Yeah, but I'm just saying, if she has cameras that are like security cameras, then you don't need to say anything about them. But you don't don't say a word about them. You don't need security cameras on the inside of your house. (laughs) Those are cat cameras. Well, security cameras are for outside. It's her cameras. You know, like a lot of people still classify them as security cameras, so in case somebody got in, you could see them ransacking the place. I don't know. <laughs> I don't believe in any of that, but it's Look, like, I'm destroying everything. Oh, they're stealing it now. <laughs> I mean, Ring, yeah, you, yeah. you joke, but Ring made their entire billions on exactly what you're goofing on. Like, yeah, people yeah. watching their house be ransacked. No, I know. Well, the the outside, I've got camera, Crystal, well, not me. I didn't put up nothing. I'm cool. glad you separate yourself. Crystal, I don't know. I got one camera, the ring, <laughs> and I turned it off. Crystal's got cameras all around our house, and then, uh, and then she got them set where every time a pool float gets left in the pool and then the wind blows it, it sets <laughs> off the wind chimes, and then Crystal's like, it goes, <laughs> Oh, that's how she knows to get the pool floating. <laughs> Crystal picks up the camera and up the pool float again. <laughs> and she's done that 500 times. <laughs> to the point yeah. where that's I... That's why I had to turn my ring doorbell off. Every time I, I'm like, well, what good is this doing? Yeah. It's just wasting your life. Like, you're never going to... Ca- like, the chances of you catching someone breaking into the house are slim to none. Did you Z- to, zero. Did you install these cameras? No, no, she paid someone. I think a bracket. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. And, and so they're yeah. all hooked up. Do you guys have this main frame? That I don't. She's look, got. Does she know. have like a wind? Like does she have a place that she sits with her coffee and looks at all of her cameras? <laughs> like that movie it's Sliver. Remember nothing, Michael yeah. Keaton and Sliver? Wasn't it or Silver Sliver? Yeah, yeah, yeah Sliver. Yeah, yeah. yeah you had movie, the you had the horny. You had the horny. you had the bubble the love sponge room. Yeah, you sit there. You sit there. You watch a lady take a shower. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I was the height of yes, like, voyeurism. Like I. I as a lo- little boy, I thought I'd be a man one day yeah, watching women yeah, take yeah, showers. Yeah. yeah, that's how fucked up I am. And you have I a was bunch like, when, of I'm little- a, when I'm a man, I'll have a mainframe room where I can watch <laughs> ladies shower <laughs> secretly with my coffee and my family. My family's eating dinner. I'm excuse me for a second. I need to watch my tenants. <laughs> <laughs> the, meanwhile, you have an uh, internet pool of free porn just watching <laughs> no, black and white. Uh, it's more exciting. It's more exciting to see. Someone's if, uh, shit. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, a nipple. <laughs> what, what the hell? Uh, but uh, the well, sets like that. I mean, he's ultra paranoid. He's yeah. got cameras inside his house. Uh, oh, yeah. Filming. Fart cams. <laughs> <laughs> How many and cameras so, do you think he's got in his baby's room? Probably four. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. One from every room. angle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Andrea had, I mean, we had the, ca- we had the baby cam. We had the we had the crash test like we had the crash technology on the pad, on the pad the baby pad. What is that? So when the baby would move, it would alert Andrea. Oh, it yeah, was they, like uh, a pad, like when the baby would move around, so you could tell if the baby had rolled over and killed itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. I guess babies <laughs> do. Um, but uh, how often do you get a text alert? You don't get. You know I'm saying, like, are you looking at? And that's the thing. You're looking at the pad. Like, oh, move. Oh. Well, <laughs> you give yourself thousands of micro panic attacks. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I would make the argument that's worse for you than the chances of the latter happening. You know, it's like you're just going to be nervous and scared all the time looking at your phone. Thinking, yeah. I'm uh, glad those days are over. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's try this one. Can you guys hear the frogs on this message? That's a lot of frogs croaking. That was for Concrete Mike. Thanks, guys. Now those, they're just leaving message, messages to each other. Those sound like uh, some Hawaiian frogs. Uh, that sounds racist. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most frog racist thing you've ever said. You have to leave the show now. now what do I have to do to do damage control for that? Are we allowed to say that? Because when we were in Hawaii, the frogs sounded like birds at night. And they, they were like were chirping. <laughs> no, no, seriously. Like they, we were on the side of a volcano in that tiny tiki house, and all the frogs, they were. They, oh, they, the magical frogs they, are singing your song. <laughs> oh, yeah. They, we were the side of the volcano with a tiny tiki house. Like, yeah, they, and then the troll, Pappy Troll came and told right. me. Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> they were, the Florida frogs, like I recognized, the Hawaiian yeah. frogs were like, the, their chirp was totally different. Florida frogs just say, what's up? <laughs> You're like, I know who you are. <laughs> all right. And guys, we will see you next week. I, I can't publish that. It's um, mediocre.